return of Paul Bogle by Dan Drummond. Sooner or later, but most, the dam going bust and everyone going break out. And who will stop them? The force? Which force can stop this river of ones who already know their force? Straight up with Jerry Small, 9 to 12, weekdays, 93 FM. Kabaka Pyramid, well done. We all the politicians, them. Na, 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 na. Oh, come on. Sure. In your face, them a smile up. Behind your back, come on, in them a pile up. Why? Try to start your business and them quick for spoil up. Hey, well done. Well done, Mr. Politician Man. You done a wonderful job at the year done with country demolition, man. Sibili Bang, well done. Well done, Mr. Politician Man. I hope you have you done such a great job selling out with country with your business plan. Well, you forget a round of applause. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Straight Up for today and for this week. Um, today is Monday, the 26th of uh, October. Monday, 26th of October, 2015. And uh, first I want to apologize to a few people because I wrote down some things and some names that I, I wanted to mention. And although I have most of them, one, one of the one of the list of things and people and places. I miss late and I think I will find it by tomorrow. But the weekend started out um, for me with the screening of the nanny, the documentary um, Queen Nanny, Legendary Maroon Chieftainess. It was, it was screened up at the University of the Medical Faculty. And um, quite appreciable. Well, it was only one hour long, you know, not very long, but quite appreciable. Um, documentary about the legend of Nanny. Mostly about the legend, not, not mostly about the actual, um, not mostly about the known facts, but about some other, some other factors in the identity and the personality and the story about Nanny and about the uh, Maroons generally, especially the Maroons of the Eastern Island, the end of the island. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate, appreciate the screen of that documentary. I, I couldn't stay for the question. I want to stay to about four of the question and answer. Um, question and answer. Uh, not session, but you know, the questions and answers. But that was good. Now, the storm there. The storm named Patricia. I thought I heard it and then I, I find out that yes, what I heard was said to be true. That um, the storm named Patricia that hit Mexico sometime last week is the is most powerful storm hurricane that has ever been recorded. It don't seem like it do that great amount. I've, I've heard about the, the, any loss of life. There must, must be some. I haven't heard about the level of the loss of life and damage, but apparently it never did as much damage as it might have been expected to do. But can you imagine? The most, um, devast the most powerful storm ever recorded since, since them started to measure the, the force and the power of hurricanes and storms. Um, I think that I um I got I got that opportunity, you know, it was a pleasure for me to have three of my grandsons there interviewing them and getting some of them views, especially as young people here Friday. But then um we were so busy that I forgot completely to to even speak about with Akil about his grandparents, his other grandparents apart from me and my wife, his other grandparents, the youngs young family the young family from out there in um george's plain westmoreland the young family 
the grandparents on that side, the, the, the mother and father of his father, Achilles' father, who is Craig Young. So I want to hear the Youngs especially. Love and respect to the Youngs of George, it's playing the grandparents of Achilles Young. And they treat all of our grandchildren, even those that are not their descendants, they treat them the same way as them grandchildren. You have the piece of music by Paris Prado. Go play Patricia. Nice piece of music by Perez Prado. And it was from in the 50s, you know, but how the Cubans usually, through the African influence in you know, the Cuban music, Afro-Cuban music, it sound very much like the reggae of 10 years later in Jamaica, about 1957, 58, this piece of music, Patricia, by Perez Prado. Play it through it remind me of um, the name of that storm. But it's a nice piece of music, sound like reggae. Let's know them play it, especially the organ. Let's hear Perez Prado, Patricia. <laughs> Yes, that's Patricia. That's Patricia. Can not tell some people say so that is not a Jamaica reggae music from the sixties or the seventies or even come right up. And it is African Cuban music from the fifties, Paris Prado. And um, not only, not only, I was glad to have my three grandsons here with me. Two of them teenagers and one twenty-two. But I get to understand that Friday was the launch of Youth Month. I wasn't even aware of it till in the afternoon. Friday the 23rd was the launch of Youth Month, quite appropriate. So for the launch of Youth Month and also to heal the youngs out there, the youngs out there in George's Plain. Let's hear from Candy Staten because um, she's singing about young hearts run free, young hearts run free in appreciation of the young family and Youth Month starting Friday gone. Support will go on until a similar stage of November, in the twenties, late twenties of November. Young Arts Run Free, scan the state and straight. What's the sense in sharing this one and only life? Ending up just another lost and lonely wife. You count up the years. And they will be filled with tears Love only breaks up to start over again You'll get the babies, but you won't have your man While he's busy loving every woman that he can
Yeah, thank you very much to Candy Staten. Signaling the start of Youth Month from Friday gone. And for all the young, and the youngs, and the young at heart. Uh, I was watching uh, some news, you know, some cable news and commentary. International Friday night. And I saw, I heard the, um, the, the director of the FBI in America, that is the federal police in America. The police who can cross and go in any state and take action. Different from the local police who can only take action in their own state. The FBI director offering the same explanation that Peter Bunting offer about crime and police in Jamaica. The same explanation that the Police Federation um, president, I forget what his name, offer. And the same explanation that um, others of them offer. That because of too much scrutiny, People are watch them too much and are supervise them too much. Both the public watching the police too much and supervising them, seeing that them do things right and in the interest of the public. And in the come watching them too much and them 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 holding back and them nervous them not like how in the come watch them them afraid for lose them job. And all different people are watch them. So Bunting said that's one um Bunting and the president of the police federation and others of them said that that's why the police can't get for them job because they're nervous and them I'm afraid to them do something in the come and go clap down on them and the public. And the same FBI director saying the same thing about the American police. Said too much scrutiny by the public of the police and when police approach some people stand up on a corner. By the time the car slow down and drive up to the sidewalk or by the time the police are walk up, them say people are hold up cell phone in the ear. Both recording them. And I suppose I'm um, showing them, say, them will call somebody and make them know the police is on them, make people alert. Say the police in America don't want to take action because people scrutinizing them too much, videotaping them too much, and them are under too much watchful eyes. And because of that, that's why crime increases in America. That's what the FBI director said. No? Giving the same explanation like Bunting and Sergeant Wilson and all of them making excuses why crime increasing because people are watch police too much and in the come is a threat to police. I tell you. I was also I'm um, watching part of the news I saw where I think it's a young lady or is a man. I think it's a man. A man start a business, a young man start a business in America on the internet. I'm making a lot of money advertising clothes, women women uh, make them clothes available to him and him put picture of the clothes them on the internet and different places uh, other people pay a fee uh, every day him send a different package of clothes where them can wear go work or wear go home send a package of three different choice of you know clothes and you pick out and wear where wear and send back the package and pay some send back the the package and pay some money for rent the clothes one day to both women Renting other women clothes through this um, online service and women making money by making them clothes available to rent. Like you have some car and you say, you can, you know, your friend rent out car. You make a couple of your cars or your car available, say, you can rent it out and you get some money. People are renting clothes. Not second hand, not selling second hand clothes, not buying second hand clothes. Renting people clothes and return them. But that, that I go on to Jamaica a long time. Because for almost a decade now here the dance hall. I discuss them things there. And people are close one of the dance hall say. Other people close away come and dance and all them with really. I want to show you in a dance that are from in a, from at least in the 80s. Where I hear a whole lot of them music there. And from in the 50s, I know so in a dance people are rent all tile too. I don't know if the phrase comes from America, rent a tile. But people are rent out clothes and lend out clothes in a Jamaica a long time. Well, let me just hear some of the people who I never really lose the list of some of them who support the program and would like to acknowledge how helpful it is to get that support. Like, for instance, as I was leaving the program Friday in the park, not to meet up on one such person, Mr. Mr. Henry Lewis, he is a lecturer in psychology at UTEC. 
for him listen straight up all the while. And him have some constructive criticism and some good commendation. And we can benefit. He's also a PhD candidate at the university, trying to achieve in his doctorate of philosophy, Mr. Henry Lewis. And also a security person, Downey, from the law faculty, straight up listener. Thank you very much for your support. And there are some more, where are they? Like, um, Newton Henry out there in St. Thomas, straight up listener. Thank you very much for your support. I'm glad to meet you too. And also, um, last night, I woke up a taxi man there and some of them passing the street. Straight up, his name Michael, I think it's Shark, Shank. Michael Shank. I think it's Shank. Drive a taxi on Mullines Road too. Mullines Road, Dava Tree, Mullines Road. Come from out of Bull Bay, 8 miles. And also up on him passing the young man, listen straight up, named Jeremy and Doctor. Jeremy and Doctor, man. He's a doctor, a marketing man. And um, a man, right? A man who, who drive the big mechanized lawnmower, big vehicle, you know. Not one like a small lawnmower, you don't like. Like, you know, big one, big something, big big like a van. His name is Mr. Harris. Drive the um, campus lawnmower. And some people out from the Nine Miles Beach of Bull Bay, especially Ayen, I, 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 or the Bridge name again. Young, young Ross, the whole family of Ross, them, um, think of Ayen, him name, yeah. Ayen. And his sister, one of his sister named Sheba. Or one name, I think, Makeda. Or Makeda. And the whole family of Sophia, like further up the Nine Miles Beach Road there. But the last of people there, all of them name her mother name, but Sheba. Remember, she, not Sheba, um, Sophie. Sophie up the lane there. She and her mother listen and she introduced me to her daughter. And her granddaughter. And all of them listen and them bridging um, one of her brothers and her, I think it's her stepfather. Out there, the nine miles of Bull Bay there. And further around the eight miles there. Ah, uh, yeah, Rochelle. Rochelle from, from Just School. Just School, I think, is um, the same place named Cox Bar. You know, the 8 mile there near to Sugar for two. And I saw all the elder, I know a long time, with him named Singai. Singai also buck up ball at all time footballer from Pelestan Flat, George Henry. All time ball head from Elton Flat, used to play for Flats and all them. Get it. And Mr. Trescott Por Porter. Locksmith there from in the Papian market. Very efficient and good locksmith. I can recommend him to you. In the Papian market. What you call it now? Like a complex there. Eh? Like a market complex there. Um, like a plaza in the market. Forget what the name of the um, same locksmith business. I think it's Advanced Locksmith. Advanced Locksmith in the Papian market there. Mr. Trescott Porter. Yeah man, good for me them people eh? And from up... Um, from up, um, out for six miles at the truck stop. They're going to keep the truck fest coming up in December too. Big, big um, dance and music session. Tre truck fest. Jim Basky. I'm, I'm on him for the control that place, the Pigos place. And you get good fish food up in six miles. Six miles at the beginning of Monday Highway there. Eh? And I'm have the truck fest coming up in December at Pigos place. Oh, I hear one of them um, service people out there, Miss Nisha Morris, too. She take care of the service and the fish, and, you know, very good fish food. So Jim Basco is also, I didn't meet him up at Waterfalls, you know, but, to meet, but I know him from out there and his father. He them. And there are people who I don't, who I have missed, laid their information. We make up feet another time. But I want to remind Mr. Lawrence Reed and Mrs. Kesri Reed. It's Kesri or Kesri, I think it's Kesri Reed. That them daughter Kianda Williams me, me know. She's a university student here. Yeah? I think she's a law student. Yeah, she's a law student and a real estate agent. She might me know so them Kesra Reed and Armad and Lawrence Reed, her father. Good straight up supporters. And also Miss Eugenie from used to live down at Blanche Lewis from Watchwell in a center but used to live at Dread Eyes. Yes, morning again. Welcome to Straight Up. We'll start with the telephone call. Hello? 
Hello, welcome. Hello. Yes. How, how yes. Are you doing? yes, sir. Welcome. How are you doing? Fine. Uh, I want again to, I think I said it before, to pick up Mr. Cameron. Thank him for the speech he made. British Cameron, yeah? Yes. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I think we're benefiting, benefiting on that based on, um, you know, the export that's given to the matter. Yeah, the, man. Thought, prov thought, thought provoking. Well, no, the information is being communicated. I mean, some of us get enough why that people understand. Yes, 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 yes. That's I right. recall what, what, what we didn't know. Yeah. But in terms of reparation, very good that we have some activity going on. Yeah. But we need to do the localized one too. Yes. What, what the uh, Jamaican government has done. Yeah, man, keep your voice up. What the Jamaican government has done since independence. Yeah. To work on those and start with those, we will, we will have more moral authority when we talk to those externally. You know, we have the Maroons, to, they need to do something, we need to come together with them and sort out, you know, their contribution to where we got to in um, 1962. Yeah. Um, and there must be some leveling between the Maroons and the rest of the African population. Both those who yeah, are... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. must recognize must the role some, that they play. Yes, yes. In the colonial times. Yeah, both, so, neg both negative and positive. Yeah, because only little bits of it is, is known or given, given recognition. Yeah. So we need the full information and... Uh, yeah, we also and, should make some apologies to one it, another. Yeah, not, not only apologies, but make some... Um, Compensation, not money, you know. Yeah. Compensate yeah. in in attitude and um and commitment. And as Martin and point out in him article in yesterday paper. Yeah, I need to read that. I uh, saw it, but I didn't read it. Yeah. Um. Um. The Maroons represent some of the Africans who did set some good example, but at the same time made compromise them own position in in um. In favor of the people who was um, oppressing the people, oppressing, of, oppressing uh, the rest of us. Enslaving, uh, enslaving yes, the, the, rest the rest of us Afghans. So it's, yes. a very, it's a very similar situation to the factual situation that uh, Martin Henry pointed out, and other people point from time to time, that Africans were, is that a trade was going on, a trade. Some of it was just trade caption and prisoner of war by the whites. Yes. But some of it was a trade with Africans in Africa. And some of it was also the selling of prisoners of war by African who win war against South African and sell the prisoner. And some of the straight trade of capturing and selling yeah, them. We need a full exposure at that side of it. Yeah. The, the length of it. Yeah. What, what, what I hear a lot of people when they come in, you know, they're mixing up the type of slavery that existed at the time. Yes, and, ex ex and, ex and excusing. Atlantic slavery. Yes, and, ex two different things. and they're excusing some form of slavery in Africa, like it was a nice, like a relative. And you know, you were like, it was just a house server and it wasn't that bad. Well, slavery is slavery, but, but, but the, 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 the transatlantic thing took it to a different degree. Yeah, and hear this now. The European countries, especially the ones still having them, um, them, um, them, 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 them mouth sucking the blood of, of these countries and, can, and economies, them, them due to repay some of the riches that them rape out of us. And the African leadership that um, survived, some of them survive as royalty and nobility in the same countries, they have an obligation to make land available to people who was driven and were sold from those places. Yeah, but that would help the um, reparation process. That is the kind of... That's once, a once you've dealt with the... Um, the, the, the uh, the repatriation process. What yeah. you dealt with the reparation? You know, but yeah, the apart, land is a apart from repatriation, which is the travel back to your original place, that is the traveling. Repatriation, yeah, yeah, travel yeah. back. Hold well, on, please know. let me finish. Please let yeah. me finish. Apart from the repatriation, which is the, which is the traveling back, making your way back there. Once you are there, land must be restored. That's a different thing. And and those African countries, apart from the the ones that guilty, the, the descendants of the guilty ones, the traders. The countries and the, the nations and the government, their own obligation to make land, just like them have obligation to make land available to the African who born there this year, them have obligation to make a living space 
available for people who return there from captivity. Yeah, because there's no shot in the land. They no shot. No shot. Many no of shot. those are the greater many of those in the yeah. diaspora who might wish to go. Yes, yes. They have several generations of them. Yeah, yeah. So we need to get working on, on the three different uh, angles there. Yeah, some people are already working. True, true. Yeah, no, we need to build it up. It, yeah, it, but more, it needs more action yeah, more for everybody to participate. Yeah, more and more um, people are getting into that workforce. Yeah. And it's not going to be the whole population that's going no, to... No, 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 no. The, the people have the different choices. Yeah. They have a different mindset. Um, yeah. Although some people are comfortable on the one. A lot of... Yeah, and some people don't have an Afrocentric um, no. outlook. And a lot of people who are indifferent, who don't care and who reject African identity, are going to benefit too. Well, and you're not, going to to, so yep, you're not going to be able to stop that. Yeah, so be it. Thank you very much, right, Jason. We're good. Next one, please. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Morning, sir. Sir. All the questions to hear Jigsaw, you know? Yeah, Jigsaw, yeah. So big up Jigsaw. As a maritime man, man with travel, deal with the sea travel and trade. Travel the world and the seven seas. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man, the, the reparation thing continues, you know? Yeah. And, and as I was saying here too, the Africans, them, 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 Give them reparation to us. Yeah. Yes, of course. Make land available. Yes, of course. Citizenship. Yeah, and land. Yeah, citizenship, passport, and land. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, this this thing we're going in at the Senate. Yeah. Over the weekend. Yeah. Have a special interest in it. Yeah. You, you know why? Uh huh. Uh. They must take the, the opposition, you see? Mm. I take the blind man for fool and that earth. Yeah, or the president, the president of the Senate, yeah, Freiman, yeah. yeah. yeah they must take the man for fool. Yeah, how them do it? Senator Malawu fool. Yeah. Get up and gone downstairs. Yeah. Right? And rightly so, somebody did that for me. The president of the Senate, no, because I'm blind. Yes. So. Now, I hear J. Nicholson do that. Did he made him know that what? That Mrs. Ford. Gone downstairs, yeah. Yeah. See? All right. The, 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 the letter where she have a present to journalists and all kind of people at a party meeting last night. Yeah. Right? You mean the night before? Well, no. Oh, last night you should do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the letter where the where where the where the where the, where the Senate need both as a request from the Justice Minister and as a request from the President of the Senate. Yeah. Right. Now, this this scheme is a plot by the opposition to disrupt the Senate because of the CCG thing we are going. Hold on, what you say is a plot? The letter? All, the whole stage in our going oh, on. Well, no, it. hold on, hold on, hold on. The, the revelation about the letter by Dorothy Lightburn or what happened in the Senate Friday? No, what happened in the Senate? Yeah. Because look here now, they are saying that they are going to boycott the Senate. Yeah. Till Mrs. Ford, you know, till them withdraw them the suspension. Yeah. Right? And the whole thing was about was about that. She downstairs at at one point your ear say she gonna eat lunch. At the next point your ear say is a bathroom break. She sent for her bag up upstairs now. Right? Where anybody can it, it, it open to any kind of interpretation she gone downstairs. And then she sent for her back. Right? It open for anybody interpret to say, boy, it look like a leave, she a leave or, or something. She and Nationwide say, she sent for her back to retrieve a feminine item. Which is a likely story, because nobody can prove that. Right? When, when the man, when the president of the Senate now, Send go to her again about the letter. The man never sent to her for no instruction. You know. Her instruction was 
him can go ahead and, and adjourn the, 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 the Senate and she will make him get the letter. No, oh, hold, 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 no hold, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on. We can go through the whole step-by-step -step thing. Yeah. What was she supposed to do? From the morning, following, following the day before when she read the letter, she was supposed to make a copy of the letter available to the Senate, to the President in particular. Uh, he asked for it that morning? Yeah. Same morning, and she must get make it available that day. Yeah. By what time? Before the Senate is adjourned. What time is Senate adjourned? No, you really know that. You know. Okay. And um, so she leave the room to go about her private business, right? Mm hmm And him want her to come back right away, right? Him want the letter. No, and ask what him want. I ask her if him want her to come back right away. That is not clear. So, but he wanted her to come back? Yeah. And she not can't come back right away. She's not ready to come back, right? Yeah. So she say, if you can't wait till me come back, I'll join. Oh, no, no, if she say, if you can't wait, but she say, you can't go ahead. Exactly. I he can't go ahead and adjourn because he can't wait till she come back. Yeah. It sounds to me like when them a question Fenton Ferguson, and when Abkafid Senle asked Fenton Ferguson a question, Fenton Ferguson said, don't tell me what to answer. Yeah. And the, um, those people here will answer and don't direct me. Yeah. Sound similar? Yeah. So now, that letter is a letter that she got. Yeah. So it's her, it's her letter, it's not the Senate letter. Um, well... I'm not clear upon that. Yeah, it's a letter where she got that she, she, she read into the Senate the day before. No, that's not the question. I said, so it's, seeing that it's the letter that she got is her letter, it's not the Senate letter. Uh, no. But the Senate request a copy from her. Yeah. But because she had taken too long to bring it, yeah. them suspend her. No. What? No. What? What them suspend her for? Them, 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 for not presenting the letter. No, but if she out the road, if she in the bathroom, and she not ready to come look, yet. Look here, look here, no man. Yeah. The, the letter was requested from the day before, you know. Oh, no, that's it, the day before. Yeah. Yes. Right? She can't <coughs> do Anyway, we're going, we're going on a little too long. Yeah. And we might have to suspend the call, because if it, you know, no, a, a little joke around with it. But the fact is, know. the fact, no, the fact is that, um, the fact is, yeah. That I detect some bullying go on there. And you have a certain you have certain of the Senate of them. You understand me? Mm -hmm. We have some bully. Mm. And you see when you give bully authority, a little brief authority, you they try to prolong it that the authority not brief. But little hanky panty. Now instead of brief. Two things are going. Yeah, we're going about nine one, minutes. We're going about. One and as you say, yeah, we're going about six, seven, eight minutes. I've got it here. Call, call back again later. Make go, me go finish it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to straight up. Just a comment about this whole Senate thing. I don't, I don't find out enough about it yet. But when you have a set of people who claim say a country belong to them, and they take it serious, and other people start to take it serious, even some of them opponents start to take it serious. Them said Jamaica belong to them. Jamaica is their country and is a PNP country or is a JLP country or a NDM country. When, pe when you have a set of people who start that long enough and they believe it and other people start to believe it, even them opponent, they will get more and more arrogant because them said this country belong to them. Them know best how to run this country, this, that, the other. Them know best this, that, the other. They will get more and more arrogant. And when you have a set of police who have the same attitude, that um, authority belong to them and they are the law. Police is not the law, you know. But a lot of police say they are the law. Or if you say a police car driver, people say, boy, the law coming. You know. Foolishness. Not, they are not any law. But they want to be a law unto themselves. So when you have a set of people who claim their country belong to them. And then the police in the country and the soldiers, not all of them, you know, but a good amount, good number of them say, they are the law and they are in league with the people, them, that politician who said this country belong to them. It's a dangerous situation. It happens all over the world all the time. And you have a police state develop, and eventually they may enslave back the country for hundreds of years and thousands of years. 
a set of bully. They want people afraid of them. Let's get back to the phone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Yes, good morning. When the right time come, them say, the song said that um, some are going to charge for treason. A government document from the British government sent to the... All right, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Is where you're running from? Not running from. No, not, not running from. We're running you. We are not running away from you. You're running away. Out, I am out, mis- out, 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 damn spot. Um, let's get back to the phone. Morning, welcome to Street Hello. Morning, Robin. Yes, sir. Blessed morning to our listeners. Hope you have a good week. Yes, sir. Um, just using a medium right, to just talk about some little scamming wagwan, phone scamming. Yeah. You have some people who call you, send text messages to your phone. Lord God, I send me, I send the credit to my, 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 um, my grandmother and, and I send it to you. Please, if you can, send it back. Then after that, you get a text. How much money was sent, right? And it's twice stopped. So me, with my little sympathetic self you now, say, you know, me, 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 me call the number, it now ring. I try to send back the money now. So you know, me do go buy a credit. I send to the person. No, it never works. So me, me know somebody we know about sending sending credit. Cause I'm not send credit to nobody. And send back the money. Well, just to know that's a scam of the number. And I want a little nasty piece of work. You no, know, say I will scandal him number upon uh, he or she on the radio because them for stop it. Them going around and do it. And it's more than one people them doing it too. I hear about it, yeah. You understand? When you must stop it, when it's a nasty piece of work. You understand? Go get a life, man. Yeah. Let's say, sir. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Next call, please. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Welcome, sir. Good yeah, morning. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Okay. Now, I have a problem over the weekend um, with a network. Um, I actually place some credit on my phone. And after having realized that my credit went very fast. I became suspicious. But then I said, maybe I might have used the credit and not realizing that it's finished. So I placed another credit on the phone again. And the same thing happened. And until now, I was still yet not convinced. So I, I, I put another 200 credit on the phone. And I want to realize that I want to have, I want to get something like 13 to 14 minutes of call. And then I calculate um, the, 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 the rate, which is $2.99. I realized that I, would have, I should have had more credit. So I called the network. And on, to my surprise, they are telling me that I was randomly selected and for a plan. And the plan cost $11.99. What are the benefits of that plan? Look, I was, they, they, I was so... No, well, what are the benefits of that plan? Because if you're going to pay more, you must be getting some benefits. Even though you never asked it, that's not fair. But what are the benefits of them claims that you're supposed to get to that plan? No, they didn't they did go through in detail because actually I told them that I, I was really upset because you cannot select a person randomly and telling them that they are on a plan. Especially if you're going to pay more. And, and, and um, you re- realize that... Um, you didn't subscribe to it, and neither was a text sent to say, well, boy, you, you are randomly selected for this plan. Would you be interested or what? Especially if it's going to cost you more. Right, and it's costing me more. So I asked him that I, I really need a rebate, or either I'm going to get a rebate, and they need to move me off the plan. They are saying to me, they can't rebate me, but they can remove me off the plan. Well, I said, I didn't ask you to put me on a plan, so I shouldn't be uh, discussing this. Any plan <coughs> so is on the phone I'm talking to you? Yes. So I- immediately after I finish the conversation, I, I'm, I'm going in my phone now. A text was sent approximately 8.58 p.m. yesterday to say, your $11.99 rate plan has ended. Yeah. Now, I want to know how can I... Um, <coughs> Because there, there, there could be other um, subscribers who might have been going through this situation and not recognizing that mm-hmm. they are on this um, plan. And there must be, there must be. And then it, the thing now that to 
to, to correct it, most likely you have to go into them office, which probably going to cost you more than two hundred dollars for take the time for going to them office. Right. But you know. But why are these? Um, so, so which which network that? Digital. Oh yeah. So I'm saying, why is it that um, they, they, they are call you? When they were explaining about the plan, is they call you or you call them? I call them because I actually um, see that my credit um, end and, and I said no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Credit, I just put on um, five hundred dollars on my phone yeah. and I don't get thirty minutes a, a, a call. That sounds like seventeen dollar a minute. Right. But listen, you know, when you find out more, call me and tell me, please. Okay, sir. Please. All okay. right. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello, hello, morning, Mr. Small. Yes, sir. How are you doing, sir? You're good, Mr. Small. Mr. Small, yeah. why is it that when the finance minister making an announcement about an investor, yeah. you refer to the investors as players? Uh -huh. Some new players entering the market and yeah. all of those things. It's a language them learning, you know? And when they're learning these language of you know international business and all that, they feel big. They, they say, right, I'm in big league and I'm um, knocking heads with all kind of people. I'm a head calling me by my first name, and you know they are. So they have to use the language. You go along. Well, every 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 discipline have a language, you know. Football well, have a language. If most of these people take this thing for a game. Yeah, that's why them say players. Yeah. Because look here, now, Mr. Smart. The, 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 the Jamaican dollar is approaching 120. You reach the already, man. Yeah, that is like when you are in a high seas back in for your life, you know. What do you mean? The, 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 the figure 120? Like, when, like, yeah, 120 to 1. It's like when no. you are in a high seas no. and your boat is almost ready to capsize. No, the figure 120 alone, that, that don't signify um, in the storm, you know. Because what is the rate of the Japanese to the US dollar? It's about nearly 200 to 1 in it, but no, it's no, the production no, no, there no, in the money. No, it's not 200, it's about 121, 123. Yes. So, is, is the, and the Japanese, you know, strong money. So it's not the rate itself, you know, it's the stability. Yeah, the stability. Another thing, Mr. Smart, I was reading a Saturday Gleaner you know, where a psychiatrist was saying that there's a lot of mentally ill people in the inner cities. Yeah. And he has been challenging the government to put some help on the ground to correct these traumas. A lot of yeah. children going through traumas in the inner city. Yeah. And, and, and he has found out that there's a lot of sick mental people in the inner city because of these violent traumas and the loud music. Plenty, plenty, true man. And these people are diehard supporters of this political party, you know. Easy, so yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. telling what they will do yeah. when the silly season starts. Yes, yes, yes. And when, it, yeah, this, when the trumpet sound loud and when the bell ring loud. Yeah, because they trap themselves in a mental prison. Yeah. And they don't understand that the legacy that they're leaving for their grandchildren is, is a poverty stricken legacy in this game of playing. Yeah, the, the, the playing so is a game on players. And it and yeah. the, the and the game um the game is a the, the political game in Jamaica is a is a human trafficking. I forgot to another call, but it's really human trafficking for true. Yes, human trafficking at its highest, Mr. Smart. Straight yeah, man. up. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Next one, please. Yes, Mr. Smart. Welcome, welcome. Yes, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, so I'm the person who um, took the CVM people to look at um, Woodall. Woodall, yeah. Yes, oh. and the gold mining. Oh. Right, right. And I promise you that I'd come on your program before, and I promise that I'll give an update as to what is happening. Yes. No. Uh, about two weeks after the Australian guys stopped them, yeah. they came looking for me. And they wanted to make some clarification as to what is happening. Yeah. They acknowledged, first of all, that they made a mistake in not getting in touch with the people. With the community. With the community. And they said, they are, we can understand that they are not from around the area. They don't know how to go about it and support. Yeah. They said that if they were there when the CVM people had come, they wouldn't talk for the press because they are, they are under instruction from their company in Australia not to speak with the press, not to talk to any politician. I told them about the importance of the member of parliament and the councillor who have political jurisdiction in that area, and they speak on it in parliament and, and the parish council, the case may be. No, they said that in, in terms of the hazardous chemical that we are talking about, that they are using only organic vegetable oil with the drill. But um, Thursday, the 22nd, Mr. Clinton Thompson, who is the, um, the CEO of the um, Mineral Department, 
he wrote an article in the paper there talking about it. And in the article, it says that the same company does a monthly water testing of streams and rivers in the area in accordance with the license. And the only bottom is saying now, the only chemicals that are used in the drilling process are okay with the Ministry of Health and it's just used for the drill. All right, and listen, listen. We need to hear the rest of it from you, but it's 10 o'clock now. Can you either hold on or leave a number with us, please? Uh, yes, yes. All uh, right, please take a number. All right, please. Well, 10 a.m. headline news, straight. All right. Good morning. With the latest headlines, I'm Kayla Wright. A special Jamaica House media briefing will take place this morning with expectation that it will address the events that occurred in the Senate last Friday. Last week, President of the Senate, Floyd Morris, suspended opposition Senator Marley Malahu Ford after she failed to produce a letter which reportedly indicates the Privy Council's willingness to travel to Jamaica to hear cases. Malahu Ford said she had the letter but was not given the opportunity to present it to the Senate President. According to the Office of the Prime Minister, in attendance at today's press briefing will be Senators A.J. Nicholson and Mark Golding. The National Environmental and Planning Agency, NEPA, will be using a multi-agency approach to reduce the accumulation of sargassum seaweed along Jamaica's coastline. According to NEPA's Director for Environmental Management and Conservation, Anthony McKenzie, several agencies central to the undertaking have been identified. He says they include the National Solid Waste Management Authority, the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, and selected parish councils. He says these entities will assist NEPA to clean up beaches adversely affected by the seaweed. More than 100 people have been killed in a powerful earthquake which has hit northeastern Afghanistan and Pakistan. Tremors from the magnitude 7.5 quake were also felt in northern India and Tajikistan. At least 12 of the victims were schoolgirls killed in a crush as they tried to get out of their building. The U.S. Geological Survey reports that the earthquake was centered in the mountainous Hindu Kush region. And those are the stories waking the latest headlines. News next at 11 o'clock. Stay tuned. Straight Up with Jerry Small continues. I'm Kayla Wright. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up for today. We're into the second hour of the program. I'm your host, Jerry Small. I will broadcast here from the studios of Newstalk 93 FM, which is situated on the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies. We're from 9, after 9 a.m. headline news till midday, weekdays. We'll get some text message here, please. Good morning, Jerry. I'm kindly asking you to make a shout out for me. My wallet was lost in Spanish Town here. My name is Davian Morris. All of my important papers are in it. I'm asking anyone who found it to contact me at 369 2566. 2556, I'm going to read that again later. Please and thanks. $3,500 is in it. They can take the money, but please give me back my papers. You gave them permission to take the money, but bring back your papers. And your number is 39... No, hear this carefully. 369-2556. 369-2556 to return Davian Morris wallet to them papers. Last in Spanish town. Next one. Jerry, I hope the St. Hilda's head girl don't accept an invitation to tea from any of those political parties. Yes, it's interesting. I heard that um, in the Sunday papers, uh, and I've been following you, but reading the Sunday papers late last night, I understand that um, St. Hilda's has reinstated the, the, the appointment of the head girl. That's good. Next one. Morning, Jerry. I think AJ, thank AJ Nicholson, I suppose, is a secret admirer of Marlene, that is Malawo Fort, but does know how to deal with it. Remember the flexi rape issue? He clearly has a problem with that woman. By the way, AJ married? Question sign. Coming from Ruby. Yeah, not only married, married to a nice young woman just recently, just a few years ago, I believe. Not so long. Next one. Robin, are you still a pervert and still going to go go clubs? Are you, well, I'm going to ask you this. Are you still male? 
or are you still female? And phone in and make me and you have a conversation and we will find out who is a pervert. But thank you very much for your text message. Keep sending them. And you know I do have to read it, you know. Don't you know that? But keep sending them. Read back again. Robin, are you still a pervert and still going to go go club? Keep sending some more text message. Here? Alright. Uh, any more? We have no more text message. Alright, some call. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Jerry? Yes, sir. Morning. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. Ask you a question. Miss Malibu situation. Yeah. Malahu. Malibu. Is it only one letter she have? Nobody send me more letter? You mean the letter um, about the Privy Council availability in Jamaica? Right. If, uh, if there's only one letter she have? If yeah. You mean if she have more than one copy of the letter, or she get more than one letter? Uh, more, more, more copy of the letter. I don't know if she copy it. I don't know. Then only she alone have it. Nobody knows if they have the letter. Yes, other people have the letter, yes? Yeah? Yeah. Why? Oh. No, because I only hear one person with the letter. I don't hear anybody else. No, you never, you never talk to you. You only hear one person what? I have a letter. Only she alone have the letter. That's what you heard? Yeah. That only she have the letter? Yeah. Who told her that only she have the letter? Well, the news, all the news said uh, she could come on TV and she showed a letter that she had a letter. Nobody said they have no, a letter. No, 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 no. Listen, ta one thing at a time. Don't mix up everything. Okay. Who okay. told you that is only she have the letter? But uh, what all the news um, say it is that she alone have a letter because I don't see nobody. Say, okay, no, no, no. Hold on, no, hold on. You're talking too fast. You're, mix you're mixing up yourself, you know? Yeah, okay, maybe so. No, listen. You see, you hear that is only shell. Who told? Nobody never tell you that. No, no. I'm saying to my you know mm -hmm. that I don't hear anybody come forward saying they have a copy too. All right. When is the first you heard about that letter? When on, t on TV. I don't say we you heard about it first. Now I say when. When uh, is the first you heard about it? Uh, the letter is uh, when I saw the news when she was in, in the house. Of okay. Summer. Okay. So what is in the letter? I don't know. Yeah, what the letter is about? It's about the, 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 the court. Which court? The ju justice court. Which justice court? The 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 Commonwealth Court. What 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 I'm trying to get? No, it's not whatever. It's the Privy Council. Privy, Privy Council in right. England. The right. Indicate to the government of Jamaica that they would be willing to send judges down here to hear cases. Yeah, right. Not down here, across here. Send a across, across, across yeah. here to see your cases. Mm. So that, that news came out. When did you hear the first about that news? That, that, that. When I watched the news one, more, one afternoon, I was watching the news and I thought... Well, I tell you about me. When, when I heard about it first is when um, the previous Attorney General, Dorothy Lightburn, okay, revealed, okay. revealed that um, when the JLP was in office, she as Attorney General became aware of this invitation and offer. And, okay, she, and, okay. and, she, and she made mention of this letter. Okay, so therefore, okay. it wouldn't be only Malawu Fort have this copy of this letter, but Malawu Fort being a member of the Senate. Right? You hearing me? Yes, I hear you. Yes, ma'am. Malawu Fort being a member of the Senate, the Senate would be able to ask her to share it with them. Okay, but I don't, okay, know if, okay. I don't know if them have any authority because send God a dirty light more than demand a letter from her. Because it's not everybody them have authority over, you understand? Yes, yes. And yes. they don't really have authority over Malawu Fort. But as a member of the Senate, they have access to her and she's subject to rules if she's going to be... Because membership, membership means you are a part of a body. Yes. And you yes. usually have rules that apply to all in the body. And even if you have a president, he's not higher than anybody. He's just responsible for the order. So yeah, president, okay, president, okay, no means, okay, president okay, no means okay. I'm higher than nobody, you know? Yeah, yeah, Me, right. It only means right. that you're presiding over the running of the meeting. Yes, okay, okay. So president, I don't know, higher aristocrat. And, but a lot of time people, not Vladimir especially, you know, a lot of time people in office get carried away with the idea of high office. Yes. And then head swell and them head into the cloud. Not Floyd Marsner, but people generally. Yes, right, right. Privilege, right. I got privilege of a lot of people. Mm. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Okay, thank you, bye. Bye, next one, please. Morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Hello? 
is the one, next one there. Good morning. I don't St. Andrew, is that Indian woman too? Lisa Hanna is Lisa Indian. Hannah. All right, and the judge later that I'm Miss Ford. Yeah, she's a, she's Indian. a half Indian. And she's uh, a PNP. Uh, she's a JLP. Then how you say PNP have liking for Indian? The Hanna not a PNP now. Hanna was in the JLP. Who? Who is PNP now? Lisa Hanna now was with, with, with Ms. the JLP. Yes, and Miss Ford is, is PNP too. Who? Miss, Miss Ford, the judge lady. The judge lady. She's a JLP. Then how you say it's PNP like an uh, Indian? And uh, you yeah, include Miss Ford. Then right? the minister of fine up here. The minister of fine up here. Mm -hmm. All the while he, he and she in some, some kind of quarrel also. Yeah? yeah. Like, like, like he have a high on her. Yeah? A high? Eh. Yeah. Like you know when a man like a woman and... How oh, me think I mean him smoke and high? <laughs> like you know. A man like a woman and admire her and always wind up some argument with her. Yeah. So I'm like Nicholson and look her. No, you, 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 huh? no, you, 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 your mind, your mind <laughs> gone all over the place. I know nothing bad. She's a woman, a man. Mm. So all the way here, Nicholson so and this woman has some argument. You keep goat? Huh? You keep goat? What? You keep goat? If we keep goat? Keep, not thief. I know you're thief goat, but if you keep goat. Let me keep good. No, not thief. Keep, keep. Come Look. on, me live at, me live at Kingston. Me right. We can't raise goat but, in this but year. But me raise goat at downtown already. Me so raise goat downtown. <laughs> we see some goat up on the street every day we're on a band down. Yeah. And then you have rubbish. Yeah. But another see, thing, but another you, serious thing. Yeah. I hear your brother in um, the beer put man there. Muta. Muta Baruch at him last, him phone, drop out him phone. Yeah. And I ask anybody who find him phone. Yeah. So what? what? So what? Why, no. why, why would that come in here, sir? Oh, oh that come in here? Yeah. I'm saying it definitely body seems a phone about the place and um, yeah. look to be a motor phone. Then the phone have on no shoes. The <laughs> phone have on no shoes. Well, I, I walk barefoot up to, up to, up to Saturday night. I walk from, from 10 miles go above you barefoot. Yeah. And, and one of them shots me have on. You never pray them rob you, man. No, rob what? I'm a shots. One of them shots. <laughs> I'm a one of them shots and my glasses me have on. People go to sleep on the road and say, I'm a madman. Yeah, I say, he's a mental man. But you, you know, the first time they used to see madman and beat man, the people are some madman again, you know? I know, you're, you're safe, man. And they realize they could, tomorrow morning, could be mad like that could person. Be. Yes. A, a, after, I, the, after the 2007 election, Porsche Simpson Miller was mad for about two weeks, you know? Eh? Yeah. It's very mad. Let's say them things that the woman too, you know, say she was a mental little person. Mental little person can run the country, you know? They are uh, uh, a liar, tell me. Eh? They are a liar, tell me. No, sir. No. So you are here, sir, should I? Eh, what, 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 what that lady there, Clinton? Mm. You remember shortly after that incident happened in, 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 Libya, in Libya? Mm. She, 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 she go to the hospital and say she was having some problem with her brain, you know? Yeah. You like Clinton? Yes, yes. A lot of these politicians, when problems take them, they talk all kind of things. Yeah. Hey, yeah, look more. Thank you very much. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to the street. Hello? Yeah, good morning, Mr. Small. Yeah, I, 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 I know what you're doing. I wonder if somebody I impersonate you. No, sir. No one impersonated me. Who, who is that? You who know, I can't talk about two things then, sir. Yeah, yeah. You see, people tend to look at some people because they might have some um, physical challenges. Yeah. Uh, uh, just like me, uh, Mr. the President of the Senate. Fly um, Mark, Fly Mark. Mark. Yeah. I think I have I have noticed um recently, uh for over time, a period of time, that Jamaican little party senators always try to disrespect this, this, this um the um this gentleman. <laughs> and especially this man who fought. Yeah. When I read the gravel this morning, you know, I come to our conclusion that this man who fought is totally out of order and rude. Yeah. You might well send a message to the arm um, of this president of the Senate. Um, take it because I will bring it to him later. What's in the letter? There's no such thing that she's a liar. Hold she on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. She said that she will bring it to him later, yes? She, she has no such letter from the old... No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She said that she will bring the... He want the letter from her, right? And yes. she, she said she will bring it later. Yes. And you said she don't have any letter. She has no letter at all. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm the 30 minutes, the 30 minutes as he used in the in the lunchroom, um, dear. Why should why did, why should he put you to letter? Why did you come and tell the man, sir? Sir, you know, um, I I was supposed to bring the letter today, but because of um certain difficulties, I couldn't get to bring it. She's a liar. She didn't stop it. 
Yeah. 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 Well, I, I no, you're alone. You can, you're alone, can't just chat. You're not going to discuss anything. You're just come to just chat out your... No, 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 I do have no credit. Pro pro propaganda. If you do have much... No well, you met the party, give some credit. We like to have a party, but I can't yeah. have Yes, you're, call, you're, you're calling call about the party. party. You're calling about the party. So don't let them give some credit. That's what? Um, no, this, no, you alone can't just chat. No, we're not going alone. Clear, no, we're um, not going alone, you alone. Hello, we're not going to be alone, you alone, for be just chatting, son. If you know why I engage in a discussion. If you know why I engage in a discussion. No, my, my stomach kind of turn, you know. My camera... You know. Have a good day, sir. But don't do a move until already. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, sir. Hi, ah, welcome to the work, man. How are you? Fine, fine. Yes, man, on reparations. Yes. Yes, yesterday, boy, hey, by I the, the way, function. By, yes, I, 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 I neglected that. I, I was on my way there, but I never get to reach. Yes, sir. Um, te yeah, the, this, this, um, the, the trial of... Um, the trial of the the, the govern the so called governor of Jamaica, John here. Yes. And and the the verdict and the sentence. Them, yes. Tell me about it. Yes, well Jerry. Yeah. Them 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 mention it still about him. They really have a trial as such. Never try him? No, they never really have a trial as such with him. Yeah. But they mention him. No, hold on. Him. So who the who the trial was about? Who the trial was about? Yeah. Well, right now, boy, the trial is right now for us to get reparation. No, you went to Morambia? No, I didn't go to Morambia now. Oh, you went to Emancipation yes, Park? Yes, I went to oh, 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 to, oh, 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 yeah. Let me just what? clarify that. There was a there was a trial of John here in Morambia courthouse yeah. yesterday, early morning. And then, in, was it mid-afternoon or midday they had something at the Emancipation Park? Yeah, it was in the, um, the afternoon. All right, what was the topic of that then? Well, it was definitely on the reparations. Oh, yes. You know? So, it's because it's in the reparations and people that have died in the past, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over it and so. And from burning out a camera and they go on to. Oh, so yes. who, which organization? Roman, you know? Who, which organization did put on this thing? Or which group? Well, it was um, led by um, Mrs. What's her name? Doreen Shepard. Very in Shepherd. Yes, very in Shepherd. What about um, Professor Hamilton? She yes, was Professor Hamilton was there also. Lady, yeah. And um, Mrs. Meeks. Yeah. Yes, Me Meeks. Meeks. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That, uh, that's uh, I mean, a Blackwood meet. That's right. Okay, and well. Yes, and um, Mrs. Weatherburn. Okay, Judith Weatherburn, yeah. So Judith Weatherburn, right? Yeah. yeah. I saw, I saw yes, a list of name of 12 prominent women. That was like the main um, sponsor, and, and and so the meeting took a form of a series of speeches. Yes, and a lot of the Rastafarian community was there also. Yeah, you know, mm. Rastafarian community. Was yeah. Both Bongo, Jerm Bongo Herman was there. Yeah, Ernie Smith was there. Oh yes, and um, a lot of other great, yes, mm. a lot of quite a few people. You know, mm. spoke yeah. about this reparation thing. Yeah, no. Yeah, so no representative of the government was there. No. No, he didn't say no representative of the government. Mm. You know, no representative of the government. So, so I was so looking out actually for, for um, what's his name, the Mike Henry, I didn't see him. Oh, I saw Professor Rupert Lewis out there. Rupert? Yeah. Lewis. Profe Who is that? Profe Professor Rupert, Rupert Lewis. Lewis, yeah. I don't really know that person. I think, no, I, yes, I think he, he was a garbage scholar. Oh, you know who was there, too, Terry? Mm. Mr. Bert Samuels. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Yes, oh, he yes. was there. And he spoke, too? Yes, he spoke. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Give a speech. So, what new, um, what new development you heard, or, or, or what, what, or what, what them doing going forward? Well, we, 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 we um, we signed. Some people signed up and oh, so on, and we, we really want to um petition. Oh. Yes, a petition. Good. And uh, we, 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 we call in fight and so on. And petition to the British government or Jamaica government, or who? Well, I'm not too certain where this petition is going, yeah. but I mean, I would imagine that it will be private to the British government. Yeah. More than likely. So, um... Because our government no business, no. No, well, the Prime Minister did session of business with reparations. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah. you know that um, the committee on which um, um, Professor Verin Shepard is and, and who should preside over. Yes. It, it is, um, I think it's an appointment of the Prime Minister, you know. Okay. So... So they um they're supposed to advise the government or maybe represent the government when it comes to 
the approach to, rep, to reparation. Yes, yes. So, by the way, yes. there was also supposed to be some march to some British High Commission. Was that yesterday, too? Um, yes, I understand. Some march was supposed to go on, but we didn't really march. Are they, are they march from the British High Commission come down Emancipation Bar? Maybe that happened before you were Oh, it's there. possible. Yeah, it's quite a possibility. All right. You know, there, all it's right. quite a possibility. When you find out more, tell me. But th thanks for the information. Yes, Jerry. Thank you very much. Good, good. Next one, please. Good morning. Welcome. Straight up. Hello? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, my turn. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Here the map bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> you mean map ma 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 bit? <laughs> map bit. Well, well, oh, you damn spot. well, actually, damn, that was, as you know, that was Lady Macbeth talking because after she go out with the murder, she had tried to wash away all of the evidence and she, and her imagination, I'm sure she boy, the blood, they all bought and can't wipe out. Yeah, should it, should it, should it get like the Prime Minister? Yeah? Mean enough. Go off her head. Oh, 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 Lady Macbeth, yes. Yeah. Well, um, the bread, you know, they call about the phone, did you sell a piece of the money? Yeah. Eleven yeah. dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Him can contact oh you are not supposed to not the entity was supposed to take care of something like that. I believe so. Uh, so British oh, you, oh, contact oh you are she's never doing anything about it. Yeah, oh you are and consumer affairs. Ah uh, uh, yes. She's never do something about it. Yeah. Um whoa, 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 whoa. So I need to write and then May I tell you what you need to get your your note your note behind <laughs> Yeah, uh, and the, well, the next one, I call you more the go-go club. So if you have a go-go club, you have to remember after that, no? Maybe, maybe. Uh, or some, or some. The money one, they want to go and like them things, no? Yeah. Or sex, or sin, and all that. Yeah. Or some of you go go-go club, a pervert, and some is not. Could be, yeah. Yeah, yeah you have pervert that go, but yeah. everybody that go is not a pervert. Yes, yes. Mm. So and, and, go. and, um, Jesus... But, them did accuse Jesus of being pervert, you know, because more time him go places where appear sinners there. Uh, you know? True, true, and, true. Um, and him, him, him drink, him drink um, alcohol. Them say, be all a wine, be uh, And the one who no drink alcohol, them say, be all a madman, because him cousin John no drink no alcohol. Uh, him drink, him all make liquor. You know, you know he make liquor. Jesus make liquor, you know, you know Jesus, that? Uh, that's why I was in first miracle. First miracle. Mm. Go out waiting. Uh, no. no one didn't do it before him. Eh? So no one didn't do it before him. No one had him plan. Yes, and if him did have a phone, then we'd have to him phone too. <laughs> well, thank you very much, uh, uh, yeah. uh, Thank you. Lot, lot do this thing. So uh, why then we go against all them things? And lot, what? after I get saved from, from, from Saddam and Gomorrah, no one didn't go mess with too. Yeah, I, I, and uh, I think it. A few him daughter them they drunk him. Yes. A few him daughter them drunk him and wine him. Drunk him and wine him for him so he said and care for No, them no wine him, them wine him and dine him. Well, uh, them wine him both the verb, then give wine, verb and the noun. Dutty, dutty cup, dutty wine, dutty cup. <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah? All right, brother. One more. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome, sir. Mr. Small, how are you? Fine, fine. Come on, praise God and live. God is good all the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love your program, you know. Uh, thank you very much. But I am wondering, you see, when are we going to be civilized in this country? There are a lot of people who are civilized, you know, but some people are seen as if they are not civilized. Yeah. Uh, I refer to that gentleman I called a while ago. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> not this gentleman, the other one. Yeah. He's so politicized. Yes. That he can tell you who is a liar. Yes. But who is not a liar. Yeah. I mean, I think we need to cut out this rubbish and foolishness. Whatever time he calls, sometimes he has some good ideas. Yeah. But he has a time when he politicizes. Yeah. So you, you can know which part he supports. Yeah. Now, we need to be a revolutionary country. So we we'll vote for issues. You know, a lot of people doesn't vote for issues, sir. Most they people. vote for who they love. Yeah, yeah. If they love you, all when you are wrong, you know, they still, you know, dig you up same way. And secondly, I was listening to my Prime Minister, not my Prime Minister, Mr. Bruce Golden said, we must say our, our Prime Minister. Yeah. I was listening to 
our prime minister this morning, I don't know if you have listened to her speech last night, you know, when she was saying about the other party is, you know, telling you that they're going to do this and they're going to do that and we must be careful of them. Now, in, 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 the, in their stand, when they wanted us to become prime minister, they tell us a lot, especially she, she told us, and Peter Phillips, told us a lot of things that up to now, <laughs> Mr. Small, does it come true? I wonder if she can find back those clips and listen to them. Yeah, man, she, she tell us about light. You know, she's going to let the light be good up to date. The take light a, and take off GCT off of this and that and there. Eh? I wonder if she's listening to herself. Yeah. I mean, she needs to come straight. You know, I think she gets a dagger when Mr. Olin says, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna bring back this, I'm going to bring back that. I mean, I mean <laughs> Mr. Small, we need to listen to our leaders. Speak. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, sir. Um, so you consider, you consider her your leader? Our, our prime minister. No, I'm, no, to... leave the hour now. I'm asking you a question now. Yes. You consider her your leader? Do yes, you... at, this, at this present moment. Yes, who, yes, yes, who, yes. who appointed her as your leader? We, we the people of this country. You, when did you, when did you choose Porter Simpson as your leader? What, what, what exercise did you do? Where did you go to, to make that choice? Where? Well, I'm living in Franklin Town, so I, I made that decision down there. I voted there. No, but she's not the MP for Franklin Town. No, 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 no. You voted but, for an MP in Franklin Town. Oh, oh, oh yes, oh yes. So oh, how yes. did you choose Portia Simpson Miller as your leader? Oh, but, but she becomes our leader, is it? No, our, our no, no. You, do, you don't understand that. Like? Listen, listen. Yes. You vote for your member of parliament for Franklin Town. You are, okay. you made no choice about Portia Simpson Miller uh -huh. as Prime Minister of Jamaica. Uh -huh. But but you are easy to accept the idea that she's your leader. This is, this, this is not a sin, you know, or a crime. It's not a crime, you know. But I'm only showing you how easy you are to turn around and people sit down on you and tell you that they are your leader. Okay. No, okay. no, okay. listen, okay. listen, okay. listen. Okay. let me tell you, let me tell you. Yeah. No one may appoint themselves or anybody else as my leader. They may not do so. Yeah. I don't allow it. Yeah. But if you allow it, it will be done to you. Well, I learned from you, sir. Probably taught me something just now. Yeah, I, it, they cannot. No one may allow or um, appoint themselves as my leader. Or, or no one may become my leader. Only I alone can um, allow somebody to be my leader. Yes. No one yes, else can may do so. Yes, if I do even have a dollar in my pocket, no one may do so. Yes, and they can't give me any money and buy and buy that um buy buy my choice. Yes, sir. Call again soon, yes, sir. All right, thank you, brother. Let's go for a break, please. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Good morning. Good morning, Jerry. Morning, ma'am. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm okay, Jerry. Sorry, you weren't at the um the the, the sentence you lost that man yesterday. Yeah. What What was the sentence? I did to him. Eh? Death. Death by what method? They've never said. But them supposed to them supposed to specify by what method. But uh, but um especially since him dead already, you see? If you take up him body and burn it and care, but throw in the um in the mud pan. So there was any discussion after the trial? I don't know, I didn't stay. Oh where you, where you went? I had to come back to Kingston. Oh you did you go to Emancipation Park? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, what I call you about is that ticket and give a barbecue ticket. Did you say anything about it on your radio program? Oh, barbecue ticket? You gave me some barbecue ticket? I gave you one ticket and a flyer to say that the persons who are blind and visually impaired who sell on the street do not want to sell there anymore. All right, I can tell you this. I can tell you this. Uh -huh. You see, anytime you do that, you, you give me any ticket or ask me to do that. Uh -huh. you, you also speak to my producer. I didn't know you didn't send me to her. I, I don't finish talking to her. Okay. Yes. So I'm telling you now, sir, anytime you, you want the program to do something for you, like publicize something or so on, uh -huh. if you even speak to me or even give me a ticket or whatever, you also speak to my producer because although I remember you giving me something, remember, sir, I was very rushed, you know, I couldn't even stay. You were trying to tell me something and I said, I don't have the time now, can't listen. You remember me telling you that? Yeah. So therefore, I wouldn't be aware of it, even what it was they give me. So I might put it down all two days, three days before I look at it, which is what happened. Okay. So whenever you do anything like that, you either try to catch me at a time when you have at least even a two minute can talk. Or you make sure you also get to my producer. Or you call me back 
because you're more time you phone me. You call me back a day later and, and, and remind me or tell me about I was about. on the road trying to get the tickets for because yeah. all the, most of the big people I'm who took so, tickets so, are giving so, them after so, so when is the function? It's on Friday. Coming? It's a takeaway barbecue. Yeah. Right? In, and, in, um, aid of what? A, in aid of what? It's a group of blind persons who are setting up a job interaction center. So they want the barbecue. They put on the barbecue so they could get money to register the Where, company. Where are they putting on the barbecue? It's at 179 Orange Street. 179 Orange Street. That's near to Tarrington where? Tarrington Bridge. Eh? Near to Tarrington Bridge. Near Tarrington Bridge. Bridge. Okay. And the barbecue is Friday coming. Yeah. It's what a time? Take what barbecue. Time? That means... Uh, what time? It, it, the, the, um, what, what time? It starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And people can come, it's lunch, it's a kind of lunch Okay, thing. and what's your barbecue in? Oh, we're having barbecue chicken, jerk pork, curry goat, uh, fried chicken, yeah. fish, yeah. and um, vegetarian food. Yeah, I was just going to ask if you don't want to support from the vegetarian people. Oh, we do, we do have, have them. It's Ira Jerk that is putting it on. Uh, Who? Ira Jerk that is catering for us. Who? Iry Jerk. Iry Jerk. Right. Okay. Where are they located? In the Spanish Town area. Spanish Town area? Yeah. That's a big, big place, you know. Tell me I, where, where. I, I, I'm, I'm not the person who is in contact with them, so I don't have everything So you that. don't know where Iry Jerk is? I know it is in Spanish Town, but what part over there, I don't have the address. How you know it's in Spanish Town? Because of, um, the person who caters, who is looking after it, Work with them already, and the Spanish town they come from. No, so the person who is in touch with them. Yes. L for the barbecue, we have different different volunteers. No, 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 no. Well, well, all right. Okay. May I try? May I try? Help show you how to clarify some of your thinking that you can know what you know and know what you don't know. Cause it is good to have the, to know the difference between what you know and what you don't know. You know. Oh, okay. And that way you sell more barbecue tickets. When you understand you sell more, you sell more barbecue tickets. Oh, but they, they are taking the food to us, you know, at 179 uh, Orange Street. All right, call again soon. Okay. Next one, please. Good morning. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, Bongo. Yes, sir. Welcome. It is I. Yeah? Yeah, man. Um, it is who? Hi. <laughs> who? I Tana, man. Oh, I Tana, okay. Alright. Jerry, there's two new, new developments I want to bring to your attention if you don't notice them. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the gay rights lobby mm -hmm. has, has drawn for two major, major weapons okay, to, fight, to fight this thing. Fight what? People, for, for win over people to them cards. Oh yeah, what is that? Alright. Here, here's the first, here's the first one. They even said the devil's postscripts. The devil what? The, no, no, yes. Hello? Come again? Yeah, you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I said there's a thing that said the devil can quote scriptures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's the Gerard's lobby, and they're saying we can quote the Bible too. Yeah. And here's the thing. A marriage shall be considered valid. A man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Talk slow, and, and um, talk like a server. A man what? A marriage yeah. shall be considered valid. Yeah. Only if the wife is a virgin. Yeah. If the wife is not a virgin, yeah. she shall be executed. Yeah. Deuteronomy. Hold on, hold on. Tell, uh, which chapter and verse that? Deuteronomy 22. Yes. 13 to 21. Yes. So now, they are quoting scripture to, 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 to support them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on a minute. So, that is in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Do you tell the Old Testament? And they know that? Yeah. So do they, how do they tell you now what about New Testament now? Well, I, I don't know what they're, they're focused on what they tell about that now. I'm oh, just saying that they're yeah. saying the hypocrisy of oh, it oh, so, is so, that. So, so they are saying that um, um, heterosexual people break certain laws that demand them to be executed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if mm -hmm. they, and if and if uh, homosexuality if homosexuality is wrong, yeah, um, it is just as it is um, wrong, um, and not 
at not being a virgin and married is just as wrong and punishable by death. Right. So which 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 which, 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 which yeah which world, world which, over. which gay lobby which gay group made the statement? Um, you know what I I don't know which gay group made the statement. It's a gay it's a gay guy posted. Now how you know says true? How you know says really somebody a gay person really posted? How you know? No, in, in some gays on a Facebook page. Oh, so some, you so you read something? Yeah. I can I can um I can write something and say is Marilyn Monroe said this and and. And, and people won't know whether it's me or Marilyn around Monroe side, you know. Uh, or that can, you cannot really know is who put, put that up there. Yeah, man, you go in the comment section. The guy on the page is gay. And you have a lot of people liking the thing who are gay, too. I know, so a, lot of gay, a, a, lot, comment section. a lot of people make up characters and put out there, you know. Fair enough. And they're not really real. Well, fair enough. But but it, it, the point is taken that, that somebody is, is saying this. Yeah. And what else? And, um, what, which other scripture them quote? Well, they don't quote other scripture. I'm not going to find it. They must quote other, other scripture they can't quote. But I'm not going to go in-depth on it. For me, see that I just started up, you don't find it interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because the other movement they're doing, the second one I was telling you about, yeah. is they're aligning um, the gay rights lobby or the gay rights struggle to a civil rights movement. Long time, long time. Long time, but no, it's no forefront to say that they, black people should be supportive of yeah. gay rights. Because what? Um, because of what they went through when... when, when um. They're saying, they're saying, no, gay rights is a human right. Yeah. That's what they're saying, you know. Yes. <laughs> right? And a gay right gives you the right to do what? Hello? Is he there? So. Yeah, the gay rights what, give you the, is? well, and the gay rights give you a right to do what? The, to coexist. Right? Yeah. And what else? And, and what? And to express and live your life sexually. Yeah. Right? Yeah. As they see. Yeah. Right? Because... No, 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 no. Yeah. Before you tell them about the because. So that is a gay right, right? That's yeah. not gay. That's Sorry, not, essentially, that's a, that's a sum total of what they're asking yeah. for. That's not, yeah. gay, that's not gay rights. That's human rights. Okay. That's a good point. That's human yeah. rights. And this is how them try to make a puppy show other people. Yeah. By yeah, declaring about gay rights when it's human rights. Yeah, yeah. human rights. All rights in, is included in human rights, but they right. want to, they want to make out um, a, a case about gay rights. Like it's like um people saying about white rights, white people rights, or black people rights. Yeah. That's, that's why from me a youth, mm -hmm. me always tell some of my Rastafari brethren and sisters and even others that I, I don't um I don't promote black supremacy because is this right. it would be the same as white supremacy. <laughs> right, right. And I listen to I listen to himself say that. Mm -hmm. And yet you have some Rastafari I say regardless of I listen to say that them no business them are deal with black supremacy. Mm -hmm. Because some people even say that their leader, their Rastafari leader is higher than I listen to say. You have some people you have some people take for them local Rasta leaders being higher than I have some people take for them pastors being higher than Jesus too. And, yeah. and higher than God, you know. So, so people like people like to identify and highs up for them leader higher. That's why some people worship Porsche and some worship Sayag and them. Because them, them want for them leader for higher than highest. People love worship, you know. Idolize, yeah, man. Idolatry. Idol, yeah. People love idols. Yeah. I, but, but what I'm saying, they have taken certain symbols of a society, certain things. Because when you're a youth, Jerry, yeah. you could have walk. I always remember, you could have put your hand on your friend. Yeah. With your man friend, yeah. shoulder, yeah. and that bridging. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, and if it's a two man on each other, you know, look away. Yeah, it, it, it look away in your mind. Well, you yeah, see, you you see, I'm just saying to you. Yeah, that, yeah. That's you, see, you see Ethiopia? Yeah. When I go to Ethiopia, but that, I, I was aware of it from before. Ethiopian males, especially mm -hmm. the um, especially the, the Amahara, which is the dominant tribe in the city and them places. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When, they, when uh, two friends are, them walk out, who are on, and yeah. them turn away, you know? Yeah. And um, that is, it does not no, um, it's not no symbol of no f sexual affection. But, mm -hmm. it, but in some other cultures, I'm um, not used to that. Right. So you find, say, but these rights that they are talking about, as I say again, it's human rights and not gay rights. Human right. rights, that's what I should argue. And not gay rights. If you want to play with yourself, you go and go play with yourself, though. You're all right. <laughs> but you don't have no right to play with my goat. If you want to play with a goat, you go buy one. Mm. 
buy a goat and go play with them, but you don't interfere with other people. No, that's all right, that's Jerry. The goat have a right. What's animal rights? Eh? Animal have rights, you know? Yeah, animal have rights, yes, too. And the same woman that live with her cat. Yeah. And I say, the shark, she can't get the man. She yeah. go, go retire and have a cat and say, boy, eat that. Who, who think about the cat? The cat tell him, say, more live with a woman? No. Who think about the cat? Yeah. The poor suffering cat. Yeah. The man don't want her, so why, why the cat have a suffer because the man don't want her? Anyway, I couldn't get yourself work up over other people. Yes, 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 that's Thank true, you that's very true. much, yes, sir. Yeah, but that's it, it is what it is, all right? Yes, sir. Let's, you, sir. let's go for a break, please. Welcome back to Straight Up and read some text message, please. Like, Jerry, if Blake knew he had integrity issues, why did he pick on Crawford? Was it just to get out Damien? I think you're talking about Peter Blake. Uh... I don't know, um, if he even have integrity issues, he might still try to um, apply and see if he overcome them. So, they must know what they're doing. I don't know, I don't know what the strategy is or was. Next one, Jerry, it looks like Crawford PNP political enemies finally ended his career. He will not be running Pickers Gill. Or must have referred to Pickers Gill, said that it, said Pickers Gill did interfere in a constituency. Yeah, I heard that. Pickers Gill has always been, um, especially since 2011, has been um, in and out of the constituency there, influencing um, the constituency. Next one, Jerry, please play Lord Deliver Us by Alton Ellis. Can't promise to play it today, though. Next one, go to Jerry, when me come a yard, um, me and you are going to dance this. Candy State and all the candy state and music, yeah, man. Young hearts run free. Thank you very much. Next one. Uh, somebody send this from foreign or so she must be a it's must have she. Must have been a foreign. Um yes, when you come out. Next one, in a Jamaica the system hum humbug policing plus with what? In a Jamaica the system humbug policing. Plus without doubt globally. That's why God said he then region their top crew. Okay, I want to understand um this text here. But you can pick out some word out there. That make some sense. Let's get back to the phone. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hey, man, man, sir. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's interesting what you say about the FBI and uh, our police. I said the same thing. Yes. Well, it will be a difference to see where the Justice Department do with the head of the FBI over there yeah. as to what happened over here. Yeah. What them, what them do there at the FBI? No, I me mean, I say we have to watch and see. Yes, yes. I may not think some people are going to take very kindly to where I say. Yeah. And, and they might very well do something about it. Yeah. Now, yeah. back to the, 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 the letter, you see? Yeah, Malawu for the yeah. letter. She says she write to the Privy Council and get the letter. Oh. If Dorothy Lightburn says she saw the letter and it was left at the ministry. So, from last week, Thursday, them a search for it. Yes. And them said them no find it. I see no sign of it. Yeah. In, in the ministry. So, you know, me no, me no, me no know, me no know how that go. But as you, you be, like... You me, believe? You believe, said so the Privy Council did send any such letter? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And My who, question I, is why it, why it only now we are here about it? Mean, what do you mean only now? From 2010. Yeah. Yeah. And um and 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 and, and Dorothy Lightbourne should announce it from that time. Yes. But remember said Dorothy Lightbourne a lot of communication that came. Dorothy Lightbourne herself said that um she don't open all of the email herself. <laughs> and she don't you know, not true. Yeah, that so, is so, true. So I wouldn't be surprised if um because maybe at that time, she, you know, so I, I wouldn't be surprised about that. But the fact is that if the letter still, it mean a lot, don't mean a lot to you. Yeah. And it, cha it change a lot of, um, it change a lot, it, cha it, it, it affect the debate a lot. Yeah, because look at the letter say, them, them willing for coming. Yeah. But you have a five star hotel. Yeah. The five judge. Yeah. And five star hotel for the three staff members. Yeah. And club crew flight, yeah, what's coming and going, yeah, them, yeah. I, I, I guess at that, 
kill off the argument. No, 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 no. Not on, more about no, not, I don't think that kill off the argument. Not only them want that, but them want bodyguard. Yeah. Then you wouldn't expect that them would have one bodyguard. Of course. You expect that them would have stay um that them would have stay on a Chelsea hotel? <laughs> would never. Alright. And you expect that them go and fly economy and uh, uh, make um uh, side of Eagle and Eagle tell them to small up yourself there. Hey. Uh, judge, old oh, judge boy. Enough, enough, enough. And you think them would have come in and the British link up to get hmm? cheap fear? You think they would have waited till the British link up dancer keeps so that they could get a cheap affair? No sir, no sir. No. Or, or you, you, think, you, think have, so you think they would have... Fly. So you think they would have... So you think they would have... You think they would have come for no, um, for no frequent flyer special? No. Or no um, body pass? No. You know body pass? Yeah. That's how when people wear, work at airline and, and them can make them friend or them relative get a free flight. So yeah. you think they would come that way? That's a no surprise to them who have a five star hotel. No. Then if them Ferguson, no. then if them no, if them no want catch no chick V, you better stay at five star or six star general hospital. Exactly. And you would, if you prim, if you come a premature, you're dead too. Yeah. <laughs> so so <laughs> the privy council, the privy council have to wait until them mature. Otherwise they would have dead in the water. Yeah. Next thing though, yes, the trial yesterday. Yeah, yeah. What was what was the charge? Can I guess one or murder, or murder, murder, murder. Eh? Murder. Oh. Um, the trial started late. Yeah, what time it start? Our must take these things serious. Yes, what time it start? Uh, about 16, 18 past. Past what? Eight. No, and it's... And we were told 8 o'clock. It will start um, up on time. Must say 8 o'clock, Jamaica time. <laughs> but... Otherwise, then we... At the beginning of this, eh? At the beginning of the trial. Yeah. You hear them say, all rise, God save the Queen. Miss the me miss the part they can't show me me they they wait from eight o'clock. Yeah. And me see eight fifteen for my pass. Yeah. We start to move round and I do something. So when we come back in no trial start. Justice delayed is what? Justice denied. When I mark them still cause them do a good work. When I mark them. When I mark that. them but no. then then me think me agree with the verdict though. Yeah. Because them did prove that the man set up the, the martial law. Yeah, deliberately. And then him breach it. And yeah, they set it up deliberately and spitefully. Yeah. And what was the sentence? Well, well, the part to a radio, me I listen for now, that is the radio part done before. Oh, the radio, the, the broadcast done before the trial done? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. The only who did the part internet could have did go on. So you don't go on the internet and find out then? Eh? You don't find out what it was the verdict yet? I mean, I no, mean, I mean, the sentence. I mean, the internet. What I thought it was. And I want to hear what was the sentence. That's what I want to hear. Yes, yes. But I agree with the verdict. Them, them did prove, say. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You keep Be, up skulldog. Yeah, man, beyond a shadow of doubt. And, 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 and yet, say, him end up get a better trial than where the people them did get at the time. No, more. If him yeah. get a if him get a fair trial, the most better. Yeah. Yeah. And matter of fact, him, matter of fact, um, him get 150 or more for live. Mm -hmm. One only one thing though. One at the time when them uh, have one girl named Talawa from the stand. Yeah. I think the prosecutor could be more sharp. Cause them have put words in a Talawa mouth. Yeah. That's one of the time me have to jump up and I say, OBJECTION! <laughs> so you're coming like a Moses burglar, jump up in a quote. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you very much, Jason. Yeah, give time. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Yes, I'm back. I'm talking about that Hoodall business. Yes, sir. Yes. And I said I wanted to give you an update. And we were at the point where they said that um, they are saying yeah. that they do testing on streams and rivers on a monthly the, co the company? The company. But don't that, is it... But, you know, but, don't, but don't... Is the, co is the government supposed to be monitoring those things? Exactly, sir. That's, and, that's and, the point. And NEPA not monitoring it? NEPA not monitoring it is the company. Yeah, then at the same time, there is this gentleman who is Mr. Clinton Tom, Thompson, who is the commission. He writes in the observer of the 22nd. He's a commission, he is a commissioner. He means what? Commissioner of Mines? Yes. He's oh, 14. And what must say? He's trying to sort of give a overview or insight as to what is happening yeah. and to tell that he's, but he's covering his track. 
Yes. Because here is that, when they talk about the company not doing the thing, they go down to the bottom and they said that the chemicals that are being used are organic vegetable oil. Oh. Now, if they are monitoring the, the rivers and the stream, why and it's organic vegetable oil they are using, oh. why would they be monitoring the river? And it would be organic vegetable oil. So you definitely see something is wrong there. Oh. The other point is that they said that they had meetings in the area, and I'm telling you that they he highlighted three um, districts, Connors, yeah. Bellas Gate, and Ginger Ridge. Yeah. But there are more than 15 other districts from Woodall yeah. to Bellas Gate is about eight miles. And if I was to list them, you know, William Park, Browns, or Marl Hill, Woodall, all of those type of things. Why so, okay. yeah. so none of those people here have any meeting. No flyers give them out. Nothing happened. They mm. just come onto the land. Now, the gentleman, the two of them from Australia, they were saying that um, on the question I asked them, property owners, what is there in it for them? And he said that, I'm just so updating you, he said that um, they don't want to fill up their expectation because what is happening now is the um, prospecting space and then they will move on to mining. Yeah. But they might have to drill a, a time, some places, a thousand holes before they come up on something that strike. is before, economically before, be, viable. Yeah, before them strike, they pay dirt. Right, right, right. Uh, economically viable. But if they do, they would want to be here for a minimum of 20 years. All right, we're out of time completely. Say like 10 o'clock, you take us up to 11. Yeah. Call, call again. All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah, 11, yeah. 11, uh, 11 a.m. headline. <laughs> you to take me again. I request them to come in hard and fast and furious. Another one from AJ, Nick Nicholson. Let me hear the next one. Um, she loves you. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you. I, you know, she do even, she do even third pun him, much more fourth pun him, and um, it, uh, that caused a problem. Anyway, text message again, please. But he who intends to do his duty with the highest level of integrity has nothing to fear even from the closest of scrutiny. They might make excuse, but we're not fool. Next one, how our, how our system leaders committed to the creditor is so he sold out again the bread from the price, the prince shuttle, while in slave service. Administration. Wow, well, that's a parable. Next one, Jerry, why are women making more progress than men in Jamaica? I think more, more women are disciplined and focused, I believe. Next one, Robin reparation is foolishness. You dirty head raster must leave the white people alone. Back where rasters. Your nose brown like what? Do your nose are brown? The rest of your black, part of your black, part white of your nose brown. How about that? Next one. Carol in Canada here. Hail up top range listener, Cookie and Dennis. Chucky, Chucky and Dennis in Canada. Carol in Canada here. Hail up top range listener. Or oh, top range. Or oh, the mount you them. Range. Top range listener, Chucky and Dennis. Thank you very much. Some more text messages, please. And we have some call. We have some, some, some more text message. I'll just finish with them, please. A uh, few more text message. Yeah, please. Yes. Um, next one. Jerry, you know, this is Malawu appealing to the public's emotion about a feminine item, dining room. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But, but we can't doubt. Because Gil, you lucky because Gil is, is an elected member of the House and not a Senate. Otherwise, he would have he would ask her for the wrong time and the wrong place. On the wrong jungle. Next one. Go. Jerry, go back to Africa. Question sign. Make Ebola, malaria, lion, snake, and cannibal, pagan way. 
Ja, man. Just, just det. Just det, and we will go. Next time, it's a small gun. It sounds like he was in Parliament. He need to get him facts straight before him come on the air and talk. Crapses. Oh, crapses. You know, some people drop off some letter off a thing. Like them would I say. Um, prat. I want two prat feet. No, I want no sprat. Yeah. So, I'm going talk crapses instead of scrapses. Next one, yeah, sanitize it. Next one, hi Jerry. Garnet need to shut up him mouth. Why him not talk how AJ and Floyd Morris treat the man? You can't know Garnet have no regard for woman. Just shame. No, I, I, I don't get the impression that Garnet no regard for woman. But anyway, next one. Good morning. It is a great day when we realize that the Jamaica Constabulary Force is filled with many Rastafarians. Well, I know that many, many Rasta in our police force. And from a long time, you really have Rasta in a police force. And all about. Rasta, they all about. Let's get back to the phone, please. Good morning and welcome. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Welcome. Yes, I forgot to for, uh, mention my good friend, Ras Michael. Yeah. He was also there giving some good chanting, you know? Okay. To the ending of that program and so on. Yeah. And hey, Jerry. Yeah. I impress the command here, see, man. Yeah. A barefooted empress here. Yes. Why well, I might tell you, man, ship, 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 ship bad. Yeah. You know? You know how bad mean good? Yes, yes. You, 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 Nobility, so-called nobility in Europe. I think in Europe, them called barefoot contests, you know. Con yes. Contests are the female of count. Yes, man. So, man, she, she, she must up with then, the chant, you then know. Because she, you know? Then because she have no, no, have no shoes, that means she's a motor wife. Eh? Because she have no shoes, that means she's a motor wife. <laughs> Not necessarily, Jerry. A joke, you know. <laughs> a Cinderella. <laughs> and a boot. No, or maybe. Eh? Yes, a Cinderella. I poke a bit of fun, man. Pork? Yeah. Now we're not dealing with that. <laughs> Jerry. Yeah. Look at the arm, Jerry. Yes. That um that person that sent in that text about um reparations. Yeah. You can't go where the sun don't shine it. With that, with your argument about reparations. We are here, reparations are here to stay. Yeah. Go Jerry? Yes, man. And this is just the beginning. What took place yesterday is just the beginning in the Jerry. Yeah man, yeah man. Good? Look here, when you get strong as that time you'll then meet the demands, you know. Yes. Because the time we rev it up, you know. Yes, yes. We're going to get strong. Yes, we're going to get strong. You know, yeah, sure. yeah, the African people is moving from strength to strength. Yes. Regardless of the many bad leaders them in Africa and all Yes, Jerry. And in Jamaica and all about. Yes. Thank you very much. And look, Jerry. Yeah. Finally, that person that talk about the go-go club thing and so on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Most people go, go there for entertainment and so on, club and so on. Yeah. Well, that is not wrong. When I was a younger man, I used to go to go-go club. Yes, but, but the person will write that, you know. Them yes. know why you know about for them private... um. Movements and, and them know why you know that they, they not expose themselves now. exactly. Mm. We get a good view of the girls and all them kind of thing there and so on. You know, young people think and all them kind of thing. All type of people go club. Yeah. You know, girl. Yes, yes. Don't throw a big thing. I know it's some year. Some year. Some year. Is it did it sell um, Jerry? No, okay. I'll linger no longer. You know. No, Jerry, quickly. Did you sell this networking thing? I'm mean, gonna notice sometimes you not get your calls on the phone. You know. Yeah. They have definitely a problem there. I don't know if you notice to your phone too. No. Sometimes at time, like me, me swipe the arm screen. Yeah. The call not coming in answer. So I don't know what what's happening. All right. Anyway, you, know, you have to stop the swiping thing. Good, Jerry. Here, yeah, Jerry. Morning and Good welcome. Go. Straight up, you know. Welcome. Yes, I. Yes, I. Walk on. King Celestia, Charastafara. Blessed morning, I. Yeah, you did make it a moron, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Tell me about it. I may say you know how long I've been holding man I one day I go have his strength of the credit to continue still, you know? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, but yesterday was a good production still. Yeah. Yes, man, a good good production and I give thanks to the team who put it on, you know? Yeah. Kabu and Varin Shepherd, Mota Baruch and the whole crew, you know? Yeah. It was a good feeling and a good thing, you know? Yeah. So what, so what, what? what? What so was the criticism is there, but them light still, you know? All right, what was the sentence after them found him guilty? What was the sentence? Was sentenced to death. Yeah, by what method? That was the only thing ever handed down, the method. Yeah. Because when the judge said, first the judge told him that his state now is in the jury hands. Yeah. It is now over to the jury to decide yeah. whether he's guilty or not. Yeah. And then give the jury them boy them time and the jury come back and everybody say boy this man is guilty. Yeah. Now him pronounce him 
he gives him pronouncements about death is his penalty. Yeah. But he never states what method, and then he said take him away. And he never, say, he never really emphasized. That is one of the, discri- the, the really criticism we really have. Yeah. He never emphasized on the penalty why I must give the, the, the yeah. brother. To me, that is equally as important. Yeah. yeah. But that, that, that is that, no, that, that, no, that is a penalty, you know, but it's just a method. What method of death, whether by hanging... Then that is the thing. You should be sentenced to hang... Fire and squad. Or uh, whatever the case is. But um, even after the sentence go down, enough yeah. people, we are... Uh, we couldn't hold in there. Yeah. So enough people are saying... Wednesday, Wednesday, they so never have so, the show of the so, so well, so, they, they, they never have the screen them outside? Yeah, man, they have a lot of screen outside. They have people not hear what I'm saying? The, they are making us a tone when you come down with the sentence with. Oh. You hardly hear. Yeah. Yeah, but one thing I can tell you doing, Mr. Small. Yeah. You see, Governor here. Yeah. He had a liar, do you see? Yeah. One of the time, me all I said, John, you know, said the lawyer seem like saying I'm really make the money I get to. Yes. Come here to say, lawyer, a lawyer bad like KD night, man, me I tell you. Eh? Uh-huh. Yeah, man, I want a wicked lawyer, I'm man, have named Carlisle, man. Oh. Yeah, you know, you know. Carlisle. You yes. don't have, have a white man in England, a famous white man in England named Carlisle, one of them intellectual. But he might one, yeah. one of the intellectual way, we more deal with backwardness, but one of the most famous Englishman, Carlisle. Well, me I tell you, say you great man. You did that defend him, mm. defend him to the mass. Yeah. But if you say the man who prosecute, the people defender. Yeah. He's also as equal as great. Yes. Though he's a white person, but he's as equal as great and Paul Bogle mother. Yeah. Them tremendous. It seemed like a big actor on the show, Mr. Small. Yeah, yeah. But it was a great man, me tell you, very great. Yeah. As me tell you, so one of my disappointments was the way he handed down the sentence and he not give the method of death. Yeah. And when we reached there in the morning, come we reached there before 7.30. Yeah. And I wanted to go into the courthouse and they must say, in the full already because people come from early this morning, come yeah. set down them name in the middle of People put them name on paper to go in. So they need to go back about them business, you know. So you, you know, I think that is fear. If it is fear? Yeah, you don't think that's fear? No, sir. If people come from early, you don't think them should get in? Yes, but if you get in, stay in, not sit down any man gone about your no, business. But you know, no, when you come no, and call me, come on and tell no. you collect a number, you're gone about your business. Yeah. People are calling number 10 no. and number 10 no. is no, no way to No, but hold on, clinic. Uh, and no. then you reach out to no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Clinic different from quarters. The, I agree, no, well, I no, man, listen. No, you have to give it. No, you have to give it. You yeah. around and the thing really no, you have to give me a talk, you have to love me for talk, yeah. Clinic different from audience. Because the audience, the whole of them come to sit down and watch something. Everybody will watch one time. But clinic now is one, one people getting attention. So if you will not hear somebody else skip on your deal, you can't hold up the line. But if people come early, I'm book, if 300 seats is here, and I come early and book my seat, why yeah. I can't go walk out and come back? If I don't come back now, my seat must give away, but I don't say anything wrong if I'm. people come early and secure them seats. Then that's what I'm saying. If you are walk about and you're not there, then your seat should be given away, but a man can look on the then, paper and say, so, oh, the no, brother, your name set down. No, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, yeah. so did you see empty seat there where them say, somebody name set down on them now, nobody yes, see them? Yes, at the time when I wanted to go in and see no, 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 hold on, no, hold on, no, listen, no, listen, 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 it's only when the trial starts, now you can't complain about them to see that. The trial starts and the person will come back, you're supposed to give a seat. But if oh, yeah, the, tri- the trial starts... No, you have to love me, you know, you have to love me. No, you have to love me for me, don't talk, you know. Yeah. So, if people, if trial to start 8 o'clock and somebody now come, and you come 73 and see him to see it, that's still, you, you, that's not, still not say you for jump on them seat. At 8 o'clock is the time. But listen here, one more thing. Yeah. When I went to the screening of the nanny, documentary Friday evening. It was the same situation. But I decided I'm going there from... Them said people must be seated by 6 o'clock. And from my year that I go there from 5 o'clock because I know a lot of people going come. And I never even leave up here from I come 6 o'clock Monday morning, um, Friday morning, come to work. I, I went straight up down 12 o'clock. I sit down on my car and I read and I do everything till 5 o'clock. And I make sure I don't even leave the campus here. And I go by the medical place and go up there early because I know the place going full. And through that I get in, and a lot of people now them start take down people name and I give out special seat. And a lot of the oh. public that come never get no seat. Okay, but so I, how, how was the nanny thing? It's finished now? Yeah, 
I, I support going show again because it's a new documentary. So listen now, listen now. Half a gun now, thank you. All right, give thanks, man. Next one, please. That's the fire. Now and again, we, we, we will have a, a, a call of a talk longer because of the topic. Yes, yeah. yes, sir, welcome. I heard you to a Marlin Monroe earlier on. Yes, yes. yes. What were you saying about her? Uh? I said plenty of people put things by internet or even by notice board. Plenty of people got face up things by a notice board, say. Me I rent a house down so that and that and put people name and it's not really the person put up that. So not every time you see a letter write. Mm -hmm. Or not everything you see on the internet and it say John Brown says so. It's really John Brown put up that. Because I was with a, a, a Marilyn Monroe yesterday even with her family at her, one of her sister's birthday party. Yeah. Which, yeah, which, which is my, her sister, that her birthday party was my wife, uh, schoolmate at Clarendon College, you know? Yeah, yeah so, so what time you wake up? Hmm? What time you wake up? Well, in the evening it happened. No, I said what time you wake? In the evening? No, not, what, what, what time you wake up? What time do you mean? Wake up? It was night. No, but you had a dream about St. Marilyn Monroe. No, I'm telling you about this person who I know. Yeah. And her sister's birthday was yesterday. I do? Which I attended. You understand me? You can't get misunderstanding me. No. Anyhow. So is your friend, your wife, friend named Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, she and her sister, my wife's friend. I told him I'm my wife's friend. Yes. Yeah. And um and are here blonde? Me know she bleach, but are here blonde too? No, no, you're not blonde. Yeah. You're not blonde. My no. Nigerian man feel you say I think I'm here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I sister listen to you almost every day. Are you? Yeah man, the one that had her birthday. Yeah. My wife good friend from high school, you know. Okay. Boy you so, boy you sound like you're in love, you know, because you, you, you start talk slow all kind of thing. <laughs> I'm always in love, man, always. Yeah. Yes, Jerry. Yeah. Your leadership thing that you're always talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks like since uh, you're a leader, uh, uh, the rest of the leader there Who? died. Yes, the rest of died. Yeah. You, you have no leader again. Nobody can be a leader, eh? Um, w when the rest of the died? When a few years ago. What year? I don't, I don't know. That's not the point I'm making. Ah. I don't care about which year he died. As I said, he died. Then who tell us him died? Huh? Who tell us him died? I read it on the news. Oh, you're here? And I read it. You, you, oh, you're here, Sam died? Yeah. Oh, oh. And I read it. You read it? Yeah. So the paper died, or what? Or the paper you read dead? You're talking rubbish, Jerry. Stop no, no, rubbish, no. no. I, you know, I never want to root you, know. otherwise <laughs> I'll tell you a long time that you're talking rubbish. But uh, because, you, you can't but, tell me that any time no, but, no problem. No, but because I never want to root to you and make you go and talk. I don't about. see it as rude if you feel that I'm talking rubbish. Yeah, no. It's not all the while and everything good for you, for you, good for talk. Well, I, I, if I, if I feel free to tell you that and if you want to tell me mm. that, I'm not against that. Yes, yes. Right, I'm not against that, you know? Yeah, no. Yes. No, but, but, no, but, but well, well, on, well on it. No, you say yes, the last died, right? And you can't tell me the year. No, would you allow me, please? You say yes, Lassie so died, and you can't tell me the year. And I know that Marilyn Monroe died on the 6th of August, 1962, the same day with Jamaica get in the bed. I don't know if the 5th or the 6th. And you are telling about your guard party last week. But so, I know, so I know Jerry. that your head, your, your, your head, you want to look both. Jerry, that is clear, that different person then. Mm, you yeah, worship Marilyn Monroe. No, man, that is clear, that different person there. People we have, 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 have Marilyn there. Names, you know. We have Arlene. Hold on there. Uh, our next call come in. Listen this here. You hear me? Yes, I'm listening. Yes, right, go ahead. It's a bad man. Watch it now. Yes! Guys? What you mean? Come and be nice of the party. Let me say the data they will fix it. Let me say this is how them so sexy We have a nice of the show band Mommy I go with me little queen Then walk off the scene A good thing the dread love no lean Mommy I go nice of the party Love me I go nice of the show band The nice of the show band Fool me little queen and tell me no say a thing When me take her tap me say she love cross I lean on me she clean you a dream 
Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Mine no, not Marlin, you know. Mine are Arlene, you know. No, man, no, Marlin, I know it's Marlin. Uh, a Republic Defender, you know. Uh, well, it's not that one. But, but you know, you know, so I believe. People have name, people have your name, too, you know. You, what them, which name you know people have my name? Oh, yeah, man, name I on. might not know of it exactly, but people have your name, people have, have my I know that I've met people with my name, too. Yeah? Yeah. Same name like me, Donald Robertson. I saw your name? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, man, I'm a Robertson. Of Strong. Yeah, Robertson of Strong. Uh, of you Strong. know what I talk about now. You see, I do remember, do you know, Robertson of Strong are some Scottish people, some white yeah, men. Yeah, but my good... It's a clan up in Scotland, they were them wear dress, them wear frock. You know them wear frock, though? I think I heard that. Yeah, them wear frock. Them, them wear frock up on them, no, we're not under clothes on that. Yeah, no, but my grandfather was from Scotland. Me know, man, me know, yeah, me know. Yeah. Is that ter- he was a terror to know? A terrier? No, I didn't know much about him. I, 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 I didn't know much about him. A, a Scotch terrier? Not my grandfather, my great grandfather, really. Yes, them, them look like, um, how them look like again? Them look like, um, a, a sh- Shih Tzu, one of them kind of dad, but a Scottish from come. <laughs> yeah, man, they killed where them wear, they killed where the Scotsman wear there. Mm-hmm. The frock the way them wear, where, where crisscross like. That's cutting like. Yes, and them now wear no drawers all night, neither. That's right, Gunnar. They know you, they know where you wear, you know your family, or your family. They know about them. Yes, and the woman, them wear pants. I don't know about them, I want to know about my father and my grandfather. White as it driven snow. Uh, well, snow, not you. I, I don't I, know I, about him. And your mother is very black. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, that's why you come out brown. Yes, you know, fear, uh, not, not brown, we just a little fear, you know. Yeah, yeah, little fear, little fear. Yeah, you know. <laughs> if you ever see the brother where I talk, this is the same as a little fear. <laughs> You know, say so you're not right. So. <laughs> yes, yes, so the leader thing now, right? Yeah, yeah. Why are you afraid to accept leaders? Leaders like, are your leader like, whether, yeah. you are, whether, you, whether you accept them or not. So who, who, is my, who is my leader? The Prime Minister is your leader. Wh- wh- as long what, what as you are yeah. living in Jamaica. I joke, yeah, man. You are is your leader. Yeah. You have many more leaders. So, too, so you, tell whether me, you like it yeah. or not. I told you that thing before, you know. Yeah, so tell me something now. I'll snoop dog. All Snoop Dogg, you know, a Hillary Clinton a film leader. Huh? All Snoop Dogg, America, de. a Hillary Clinton a film leader. What name Snoop Dogg? I don't know, know that name. What are, the, what are the bad boy rapper America, man? Where sometimes I'm a raster next time. Well, ne- is next Hillary time. Clinton a leader? I say if America? I, no, I say all Snoop Dogg, all them bad man rapper, them gangsters, all them man where hold up, hold up Bank America, Hillary Clinton a them leader. I don't know I've seen any leader yet because I didn't know that to run. All right, the bank, the bank robber in America, who is them leader? The mob leader, the, the, the president of America. Who? All right, who, no, tell leader. me who is them leader, the bank robber and, and, and America. Huh? And the murderer of America, who is them leader? They might have a leader as a, as a robber. No, may I ask you who is them leader? I don't know their leader, yeah. but I know that they might have more than one leader, but the mm. point is that the president of America is also their leader. He's the leader of all the bank robber them. Of all the peace, peace, citizens of, of America. Uh, uh, all they are the bank robber. And, uh, the, yes. uh, and the rapist them too. Yeah, man. Obama, the leader for the rapist them. Yeah, man. Mm. My leader for all of everybody in America. Yeah, yeah. The leader, president of America. The yeah, all right, top leader. All right, all right. Thank you very much. I yeah, need no. to accept that. Yeah, me tell you. Welcome back to Straight Up. Good morning. Morning again, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? He knows. And knows not he knows. Yeah. He's asleep with him. <laughs> he knows not. Mm. Knows he knows not. He's a child. Mm. Teach him. Yeah. He who knows not and knows not, he knows not. He's a fool. Shun him. Mm. He who knows and knows he knows is a wise man who seek him. Yeah. And when you say, you say the other call, I say difference between knowing and not knowing. And I remember a little thing there from my boat, but four or five years ago. Yeah, man, I went to school. I look a boy over here, them. Mm. But him, um, the scrapsies and the crapsies. Yes. He don't need the S, he don't need the S. Man. Ah, no, no. Scrapsies are like a piece, you know. Scrapsies yeah. are like a piece. Yes, yes. A crap, a crap, <laughs> a crapsies, the crapsies, no part of them. It's not a that, whole... That's the caca. It's not a whole cruise ship. You know, it's not the whole cruise ship, you know. Mm. It's just a piece of ship. <laughs> okay, that's yes. what I mean. Yeah, man. But the, the trial, you know. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Well, I'm mistaken. I'm half right. 
Yeah, you you're tuning it, you're tuning it, you're tuning it. I started going, um, um, Bogue, um, uh, no, um, what do you mean, sir? When you see my wife, that's that, um. Whoa, 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 um, garden, wife, right? garden, garden. Garden, garden. Yeah. Wife. Right. Was on the stand. Yeah. But the part, the half of me catch, because I catch exactly about half right? Yeah. Out of four, oh, I think I get two hours. The part of me here, no proof never in there having guilt, because I never see the, 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 one of the main questions I'm not trying to figure out. All of the, the witnesses I'm asking if them, the, 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 the prosecutor never asked that um, the governor knew what the, the after him give the order for the martial law, he put it in the hands of the people who run the martial law. Yeah. They never asked to him, say, them supposed to report back to him. Yeah. But them should have asked him, if they, if they never come and post him every day and tell him what I want. Yeah. So they never, they never verify that. Mm -hmm. And if they don't verify that, they can't find him guilty for you, what happened? Why? Eh? Why? Oh, oh, oh. He, him don't know what happened out the funny ground. No, no, look here. Him appoint them. And he is the governor responsible for, uh, for, for all of the government of Jamaica. Furthermore, a ma um, martial law is instituted to stop an emergency situation from, not only from getting worse, but to stop it. Martial law is not like other laws, civil law, where it's to punish offenders for different charge and they have a sentence, you know. Yes. Martial law, I emergency thing to stamp out something immediately. Yes. And because of that, them give them some wide powers. Oh, yes. And give them authority to execute people and all kind of thing. And therefore, if you are instituting martial law, you have extra responsibility because you know, say, dreadful and terrible. Yes. And you must follow it up. You know, wait till people come tell you. You're supposed to follow it up every day. Yes, but them never, them never say all of that. Either the trial, the prosecutor never bring out all them things. Eh? Yeah, well, and that is, and, and no, well, the, no, the, anyway, the I, I can't stay too long, but the fact is, I want you to go and research martial yes. law, and martial law at that time in England jurisdiction in Jamaica. Why check it out and come back Everything up? Everything influences yeah. thing, you know. No, you well, know, I, I, just ask, I, just well, I just ask if you do something, you know, you don't acknowledge whether you're going to do it. I hear, I hear you I know you're here, but ask if you're going to do that for me. I will try. Do that for me, man. I'm because there's something about martial law where you must understand, and we all need to understand. And from it, near martial law, it goes. It will not explain the court. It is known. But no, tell, no, 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 no. Check it out. No, it check it out. I, do have, I can't stay no longer. I can't stay no longer. Really, just take out that for me, and we have another discussion, please. I've, I've yeah, tear up some of that card. No feel right. no way. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Jerry. Yes, sir. What's going? Ah, uh, just a few, well, quick thoughts. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, um. Nothing wrong with a go-go club once you're over 18. Yeah. It's fine. Ah, uh, Ivory Jerk. It's a nice little restaurant on Brunswick Avenue in Spanish Town. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. It actually have Cumberland Road, Young Street. Yeah. All of those meet Brunswick Avenue at a point. Yeah. Pretty close to Ivory Jerk. Yes. Belmore Lane also, you know, meet yeah. Brunswick Avenue at that point. Yeah. Pretty near to where a old Asta Theater is. Yeah. Now you, you, is now, church. Now, now you know, how you know Spanish Town so good, man? That's where my father never left Spanish Town and I born and grew here. And man, people call you pervert, you know, you're not supposed to know a place so good, I've man. been called that. <laughs> you're not supposed uh, to know a place so good, man. Uh, yeah, man, Spanish Town my turf, man. Yeah. My turf, that. Yes, uh, sir, good, good. Next, go ahead. Treating women. Yeah. Come again. Uh, women, treating women. Oh, yes, yes. Ever yes. since man, I relate to woman, from Adam and Eve... Samson and Delilah, Romeo and Juliet, yes. Paul and Paula and Peaches and Herb. Yeah. One important thing, yeah. a woman has an excuse, which a man don't question. Yes. Two excuses, really. Yeah. One is, I have an idiot yeah. there. Yeah. And two is, um, is what one pickers get off at time yes. of month. Yes, yes. So one, if one. a lady say she have an idiot, yeah. we don't question whether she have an idiot or not. You don't ask where. You don't, you don't question you don't ask, that, Jerry. It's you don't food. ask her where is her thing. Exactly. Yeah. You feel my And the next thing? Yeah, well, it, just developing that. If, if she asks her handbag, you know. Yes. Once upon a time, we don't even go into women's handbag and thing. And we don't, if you, don't, you don't deny her access to something and like there, that. And there's a third thing. <laughs> if uh, she, it slipped me. What, what's that? If she said she didn't want the powder, no, you're, you're, you're not business with... 
you know, you know fast now, that. You know fast with that. Or if you don't tell her, sir, no, it's not sweating or nothing like that. Yes, man, and those things everlasting. You know, so as long as man are dealing with a man, you have to respect. Whether or not you think she's truthful or, you know. Yeah. So, well, I haven't think her either or her, you know, but you have to get the benefit of it out. Yeah. And, um, Mr. AJ, any cousin? Yeah. I've had my eye on him a little while now, you know. I mean, not, not just from the flexi rape thing, but... Yeah. There was a conversation which Mr. Stevens, this this jailed man in Qatar, yes. said he had with AJ. Yeah. AJ said him don't recall it, you know. Yeah. I was a little skeptical about that. Yes. And um, well, the man apparently have no recall. No, is that is that occupational hazard, you know? Yeah. When you are attorney general, you're liable for no recall things. Yeah, and and I was taken aback to when Stephen Vassiani yeah. said for seven months. As ambassador, he wasn't on good terms, with, not cordial terms with, with, the with, with Minister Nick. of Finance. With Nick. No, the with Minister of Foreign Affairs. Foreign Affairs, right. Yes, My right. mistake. So yes, there's a common element in all of these things. Mm -hmm. The name AJ and Nick, that's the mm -hmm. element. And yeah. finally, Jerry, Elaine. Yeah. I saw her singing at a, at a function. Elaine, so, Elaine. Elaine. Mm. To honor the um, world championship people. Yeah. And her parents, mother and father, were there. Very proud. Yeah. Beaming smiles and things. Yeah. And you re remind me of you, you know. What? Because... When Elaine decided that she wanted to sing, yeah. her parents were against it, especially her father. Yeah. I know him so proud. Yes. They, they <laughs> he want me, he would, wanted her to be a lawyer. They would, they would come, oh, 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 oh. You see me and me and my children. Yeah, yeah. You, you, your dad wanted you to do a lot, too. So, yeah. you know, he, them so proud of her. I mean, proud of her, too. Yes, man. Catch up. Well, the, when I text her, Samuel, well, man, not proud of me at all. I'm shame. Oh, if, but, him don't know what's his heart. You know, see, the family are gravitating, you know, yeah. Jerry. Maybe, maybe. So, the builder refused. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Cool. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Jerry. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, man. Well, um, um, the letter saga. I see Miss Port get herself in another letter saga, right? Yeah. And um, the bigger picture of me, I look funny in this, you know. It's not everybody I try to make a joke or tight and thing. But the bigger picture is if, if the Senate and the Parliament is like a court of law. Yeah. And if you go in a court, and she was a judge. Yeah. And if you go in that court, and you you have to have discovery, you have to have discovery evidence, right? Mm. And if you have a trial like one, and you just come up with that evidence out of the blue and say, see, they may have this letter where, where there's something different. Yeah. You know, the judge can, can, can admonish you for that. And 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 them can say, them, them are true, that evidence is not admissible. And, and at the same time, them can't find you in contempt uh, and I did, and next thing you have to give them the letter, make them go research the letter and check it out they are there too before uh, and the, before the majority. Yeah. And this is a judge, a former judge, and so that's how she did around the courtroom. People just come up with evidence out of the blue. And another thing, the ministry, when when you when you're a party in government, you know you're not a party no more. You're a government. So any any letter you get. And when you are leave, that letter must be in the ministry because it's not it's not your party letter, right? Just like when you say, uh, they, they are, are, are fully country, a we won this. That's what they, they, the politician them doing, you know, the parties, not even the like the parties. So that letter, if there was a letter like that, it's supposed to stay in the Ministry of Armed um, Justice file. Yeah, you did say that uh, already. I, I, eh? You did say that already. Give me a chance now. Mm. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, right. man. Yes, well, a lot of a lot of members of parliament, especially PNP members of parliament, love to claim that the parliament is the highest court in the land. And since it is the highest court in the land, why them do make appeals go from the appeal court to that court? Since parliament is the highest court in the land. A delusions of grandeur them have, you know. Delusions of grandeur. So them big and grand and great and big. And when them say would, you, would you allow me to finish, please? Because I allow you for two and a half minutes, you know. You allow me to come on and listen. And some of the, um, Adrian Nicholson is one of the people who always claims that the parliament is the highest court in the land. Because them have these delusions of being some law lords and all these kind of things. Then now, you know, the Senate now, Floyd Morris, then, or whoever is the president of the Senate, Mr. Redwood before and all that. E.J. Nicholson and um, the Minister of Justice, Golden. Through them a lawyer. 
And them a marshal everything and a direct flight Morris. What for do? And that is where them have this whole sense of being the law. Like them is the law of the land and them are some law and all them kind of thing. But thank you very much. Call again soon. Let's go for a break. I'll give it to you. Let's give, go for a break. Welcome back to Straight Up. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, everything, big brother. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, we did the, we did the Mandela uh, first night as well, you know. Oh, yeah? Mandela yeah. or Emancipation Park? Which one? Mandela. So where was the function? Was there a function at, at Mandela? Who, uh, yes. Where? What? What? Yes, what? 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 Oh, then, and, um, then how are you says Emancipation Park? Is which one? Mandela Park. That is where? Where is Mandela Park? No, no, half a tree. Oh. So <laughs> it's not Emancipation Park. Okay, we've been hearing different things. Okay, Mandela Park. Mm. Okay, yeah, tell me about it now. Yeah. No, well, you know, um, they must have about uh, 150... Um, years. Years of um, whatever, and 150 reasons why they should apologize. Oh. You know, we are, we are talking about apologies and enough people are look to um people in our government and say, we as a family, we know say, if we look looking for apologies, you have to come from the head of state, you know. We are talking about the Queen herself, yeah. you know. Yeah. The Queen herself, as she we are dealing with, as she, as she run things as much as people just think that she's up there doing nothing, as she want it from. Uh -oh. I mean, to... Uh, a couple of years ago, I, I was asking the question about um, when would we really deal with the ganja situation on an adult level, yeah? And mm -hmm. we've come a long way since then, but we still aren't dealing with it on an adult level, right? Now, um, now the same question has to, be done, has to be dealt with in regards to government on a serious level, because government has been found wanting on practically every level, you know? I mean... Fenton Ferguson should have been fired from last year, from the Chick V. From he knew two or three years prior to this virus coming here, that it was coming here. Preparation should have been near. People should have been on the job. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. If we're if, if, if we going to spend a lot of time complaining about what's wrong, no, well, no, would, would you allow, would you allow me, would you allow me to yeah. say what, finish the time what okay. I'm saying? Why, why are you cutting me off as I start that? Yeah, yes, if we're going to spend so much time complaining about what wrong and so on, it makes sense to study the situation and get some benefit out of what of finding out what is wrong. The benefit where you can get, you can learn, understand what people is up to, and understand how them operate. The people are doing the wrong and not doing what's supposed to be done. You get to understand them. So mm -hmm. I wanted to get to understand the prime minister who you expect to fire for Brendan Ferguson. Try and understand her better. Hear this now. When she was um, expected to fire Jennifer Edwards because of the neglect of the situation down at Riverton and the fire out of control, mm -hmm. she said, why should I fire her? She, I'm sure she never start the fire herself. So because she never start the fire herself, I am not going to fire her. She wasn't there, this, that, and the other. So if Portia Simpson Miller used that as a principle, for deciding who she going to fire and so on. Why do you expect she going to fire Fenton Ferguson? Is not him kill the baby them. Him was not the hospital. Him was not on duty, this, that, and that. Just try and understand her. And the same no, thing... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. me, me a little, me a little more. And also the Tivoli Inquiry where I go on. Try and understand them, what they're up to. And the Tivoli Inquiry is very similar to the thing that was kept down at... Um, Morant Bay yesterday, and it mm -hmm. helped it help people to understand what the government up to and what them plan and what them scheme is and what them are using solely on police. But call again tomorrow. Without that time, we have some more call. Thank you. Okay. Next one. You're looking. Good morning. Welcome to Street of Hey. Yes. Hey, Welcome. Just to make, I'm glad you all your point out that a while ago. Yeah. Uh, I called a couple of callers ago. Yeah. I said the trial done on Morant Bay yesterday. Yeah. Never prove that governor here did know where I go. Yeah. We, we need to understand in a Jamaica. Uh, the same thing you just said about. Yeah. When Fenton Ferguson I say he never know till Friday. Yes. A guilty, you guilty. guilty. Uh, if you never know, you're guilty. You're you know? guilty, guilty. And if you know, you're guilty. Yeah. 
Because not knowing yeah. is not an excuse for the law. Is not an excuse for breaking the law. Exactly. Not knowing the law is not an excuse or a basis of innocence. Precisely. Now, if, if Governor here go say, him, de him declare martial law, you know. Yeah. But he never know where the man them do. And him know what martial law can That's do. His name he him know what martial law can do and, yeah. wha and what it is for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, and, he, and, for, him deal, and, man. and furthermore, from before that he was saying, him going to rule Jamaica in a way to stop anything like what going to hate yeah, from yeah. going, yes sir. Yeah. So he knew, and he knew what he was prepared to do, and the price that he was prepared to pay, he knew. Yeah, and the fact that them sent to William Garden a St. Andrew outside of the jurisdiction yeah. of the martial law. And sail with him, him sail upon the boat with him. Yeah. Sail past Moran Bay, no? Yeah, man. You don't know, so them sail past Moran Bay? <laughs> no, I never mean, Yes, yeah, them sail past Moran Bay and go to Portland. Go and go to Port Antonio or Manchon Hill. Yeah. And look about them business up there and then sail back to Moran Bay with them. Oh, God. And him in the taxi, see me? Come like if, if, um, he come like Garnet Rope and now say, no preaching from the bus. Yeah. And on my bus, I'm a pastor. Yeah. And, and not only him say, so him start ride the bus and, him, and, and decide to put off, put off the preacher them himself. Yeah. Well, that was governor here. I mean, I talk to him next. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Next one again. Good morning. And same way the government, yeah. He and I talk to them next with camera. Now, them and camera and cook up. All of them are cook up. Them is a disgrace. That's why PJ Patterson was so embarrassed. Them is a disgrace. And bring camera here for come campaign to them. Backfire upon them. Next call. Morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Indeed, Brother Jerry. Oh, go on. I trust that you had a good weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Interesting news on the Caribbean scene, or maybe I should say on the sporting scene. Yeah. I get that justice has been served over there in Trinidad yeah. in the case in which uh, Mr. What is his name? Oh. Lendell Simmons. Oh, that, what happened? The cricketer, he has been ordered by the court to pay $150,000 yeah. to a woman after he um, posted nude pictures of her after their relationship came to an end. Why, why is it? He tried to disgrace her. Yes. But now she has gotten the taste of justice. Yeah, him, him step out of the crease. Step out of the crease and then pick off him bill. What you're doing at the crease must stay there. And what you come see here and what you hear here, make it stay there. All right, copy. Thank you very much for that. I'll read some text messages. Morning, Jerry. The education system is failing our children. The ministry has too many political act operatives running these schools, and this is the heart of which results in fail. This is the heart of which results in failing schools. Next one. Good morning, Jerry. Hit the nail on the head. We are being bullied left, right, and centre. We have no opposition. Next one. Blessed teacher. Is bet right that because you cut her off with our foolish jester coming from Pablo in Portland? Thank you. Next one. Good day, Jerry. I've seen this TV advertisement, but don't sell the vote. We need a similar advertisement for God and how stressing don't buy votes. Of course they do. And they are shameless. We all do them up. Them up, them up. They are shameless. Not even the Prime Minister, the leader, the opposition, the leader, the two party. They have no shame about the buying of votes. None. And the, and the Prime Minister also. Does she not have the decency to speak about the baby? The baby death epidemic we're going. She they all campaign and attack and a jump and prance and eat and drink and be merry. And she don't have the decency to speak about the baby death ep epidemic. We'll soon find out. We'll soon find out if she ever speak about it before election. Next one. Bet is jackass. A very foolish one trying to muster you. I, I saw that thing a very interesting. Um, somebody made a comment in the, in the paper. One of the papers yesterday. Very interesting comment. Say. If you see a jackass, a donkey, on top of a light post, stand up. Most likely, I had some assistance getting there. That's a very instructive um, uh, assessment and commentary and analysis. It's true. When you see a jackass on top of a light post, or, um, the higher the monkey climb, the more them exposed. Next one. J Jerry, the St. Elizabeth branch of the Buckingham family are a big liability to the PNP. Go on like them or some royalty. Next one. Jerry, Lisa Hanna is of Syrian descent, not of Indian descent. Well, hear this here now. Hear this. 
This person is going to tell me that Lisa Hanna is of Syrian descent and not of Indian descent. Well, go ask Lisa Hanna if, her, if it's only her father who is of Arabic descent. Is her only parents. Ask her if that is her only parent. That you forgot to ask her. If her father of Arab descent, Mr. Hanna, is her only parent. That you forgot to ask her. Next one. Jerry, how nobody didn't ask the Princess Royal Lady and any question regarding reparation or repatriation? I don't know. She was there. She speak to many people. And maybe more than one of them ask her. But it hasn't been publicized what she spoke about or what people ask her. But I think that, I think, I, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody bring up that topic to her. Next one. Jerry, do you think a person should be suspended with or without her, their presence? Yeah, it depends on the circumstance. Somebody can be suspended from a situation even though they wasn't present. Yes, of course, that can happen. And uh, some, have some, some suspension, uh, there are circumstances under which suspension shouldn't take place unless the person was there to defend themselves or to give some clarification. Depends on the situation. Next one. Jerry, good morning. Dorothy was on the next station. She said they came out of power shortly after. That's the reason. Oh, Dorothy like well, That's the reason why she never um, publicized this letter. Next one. Jerry, kindly play Get Fit get fit by Arrow for me. Can't yeah, promise today, but maybe one day. Next one. Jerry, I'm sure I heard Mrs. Ford said that the letter was copied by the president's secretary before the suspension. So how come... Oh, some saying there is no letter. We well, don't need to hear more about that. Next one. Bogle's mother was asked, Have you ever seen Governor here? No, sir. No way. No, no, no way him look like. Did you see him in this room? Yes, sir. See him sit down right there, sir. How can everybody miss that screw up? No, well, um, them, them might, them ask her, Have you ever seen Governor here? She might be answering if she ever seen him before. At the same time, if she come into the room and she hear him being addressed to as governor here, that man sit down in the witness chair there, the, the criminal chair there. Maybe that time she knows says him that. I don't know. I didn't listen to myself. Next one. The president is being led by the bullies. Press briefing coming, talking about um, Floyd Morris ruling after E.J. Nicholson rule him and tell him what he rule. Uh, the tail I wag the dog or, or the tail I wag the head. You know, PNP is eh? Then tell now, no, 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 dog. Well, thank you very much for having been here. Um, I want to thank my producer also, production assistant, Monique Edwards, and our broadcast technician, Yain Stewart, straight up. Monsignor Richard Albert says Dr. Alfred Dawes should be given a national award for exposing deficiencies in the public health sector. Prime Minister does a no comment on dead baby scandal at party meeting in Westmoreland. Former Jamaican ambassador to the U.S., Professor Stephen Vasciani supports U.K. prison deal with Jamaica and the public to learn if the JUTC plans to adjust fares for adults who use the smarter card.